Jesus, thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you, God. God is so good. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. God is so good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Stephen. Good morning. God is good. God is good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. On Instagram. On Instagram, you can message me. Good morning. God is so good. God is so good. Good morning. Good morning. We get TikTok together. Good morning. God is so good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <sighs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God is so good. God is so good. Thank you, Lord. God is good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Monday. Happy Monday indeed. Good morning. Good morning to y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God is good. Ooh, good morning, good morning. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, God. God is so good. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Glory to God indeed. Glory to God indeed. God is good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Good morning, good morning. God is so good. God is so good. Good morning. God is so good. God is so good. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Thank you, Jesus. Because there's nothing worth more that could ever come close. No thing can compare your living hope, your presence, Lord. I've tasted and seen of the sweetest of love. When my heart becomes free and my shame is undone, your presence, Lord, because Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and Feel the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for to be overcome by your presence, Lord. 
your presence, Lord. Because bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship his holy name. Sing like never before, oh. Worship your holy name. I worship your holy name. I worship your holy name. Because what a beautiful name it is. A beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ my king what a beautiful name it is nothing compares to this what a beautiful name it is the name of jesus mm -hmm. you didn't want heaven without us so jesus you My sin was great, your love was greater. What could separate us now? Because what a wonderful name it is. A wonderful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a wonderful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a wonderful name it is. The name of Jesus. What a wonderful name it is. The name of Jesus. A wonderful name it is. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Cause I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell. Lord, I love you more than anything. Cause I lift my hands in total adoration unto you. You reign on the throne. For you are God and God alone. Because of you, my cloudy days are gone. And I can sing to you this song. I just want to say that I, I love you more than anything. I just want to say that I, I love you more than anything. I just want to say that I, I love you more than anything. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
my Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. We thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Whew. We love you more than anything, God. More than anything. More than anything. We love you, Lord. We Lord, we love you, Lord. We exalt you, God. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. All the praise. You are worthy of all the praise, Lord. <clears throat> you are indeed worthy. You are worthy and we love you, Lord. We love you, God. You are a good father. You are a good father. We love you, Abba. We exalt you this morning. We exalt you this Monday morning and we just give you praise. We give you honor. We magnify your name. We lift you up. We lift you up high <clears throat> because you are worthy of all the praise. You're worthy of all the glory. You are worthy, God. You are worthy. And so we bless you, God. We bless you, God. We bless you, God. We bless you. Thank you, Jesus, for what you have done for us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We cannot say thank you enough, but we will try. We'll try. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you for moving. Thank you for covering. Thank you for watching over us, Lord. Thank you for watching over us today, Lord. Thank you that you are with us, God. Thank you that you are with us. Just like you're with us every day, you are with us today, especially on this day, Lord. We thank you that you are with us. We thank you that you are covering your children, God. Thank you for your covering, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. We thank you that according to Deuteronomy 31, 6, it says, be strong and courageous. So we will be strong today. We will be courageous. We will not be afraid. We will not be in dread of, of what comes today, Lord. We will not be afraid, Lord. We will not be afraid. You have not given us the spirit of fear. So we come against the spirit of fear right now. We come against the spirit of worrying right now. We come against the, the spirit of anxiousness right now. You have to go in Jesus' name. And we just lose peace over everybody today. We lose peace, God. Thank you that you are giving us peace right now, God, over this entire day. We will not be moved. We will not be shaken. We will not be moved, Lord, because scripture says, for the Lord your God is the one who goes with you, who is going with you. You're going with us, Lord. We thank you that you are with us, Lord. We thank you that you will not desert us. You will not abandon us. According to your scripture, you are with us. You will not leave us. You will not forsake us. You will not desert us. You will not abandon us. All of those scriptures, all of those words mean that you are with us. You will not leave us. You will not leave us on this day, God. And so we thank you, Lord. We thank you that according to 31.8 Deuteronomy, it says that, that you have already went ahead of us. You are going ahead of us, God. You will be with us, Lord. And so we thank you that you will be with us. We will not fear. We will not be dismayed. You have not given us the spirit, the spirit of fear again. You said, do not fear, do not be dismayed. We will not be anxious. We will not be in, in stress. We will not be distressed today. We will, we will lean completely into you because we know that you are with us. We will stand firmly on the word, which says that you are with us, Lord. You are with us, God. And so we thank you that you're with us. We thank you that you're covering us. We thank you that you're watching over us, Lord. We thank you that you, you're placing a hedge of protection around us, Lord. We thank you that you're giving your angels charge concerning us today, Lord. You're giving them charge concerning us, Lord. And so we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, God. We thank you that according to Joshua 1, 5, it says, no one will be able to oppose you all the days of your life. And so we thank you that no one will be able to oppose us, God, all the days of our life. We will not be frightened. We will not be dismayed because it says again that you, our Lord, our God, will be with us wherever we go, wherever we are right now. We're all in different places, but we thank you that you are an omnipresent God, that you are everywhere at once. You're not just right here with me. You are with everybody that is watching. And so we thank you that we serve an omnipresent God, that we can all stand on this scripture, that you are with us wherever we go. There is nowhere that we can go that you're not, God. We thank you that you are everywhere. We thank you that you are everywhere, Father. We will stand on that word today that you are with us. Each one of us today, you're covering us. You're shielding us. You're protecting us. 
from whatever happens today, Lord, whatever is happening in the spiritual realm today, we thank you that you are protecting us and we don't have to worry about it. We don't have to worry. The whole world is trying to figure out what's going to happen today, but we are going to stand firm on your word and we're not going to worry. We're not going to be frightened. We're not going to be dismayed. We are going to be confident because our hope is in you. Our trust is in you. Our faith is in you. Our belief is in you. Our belief is in you, Jesus. And we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you that according to Psalm 94, 14, it says that you will not abandon your people, nor will you abandon your inheritance, God. And so we thank you again in Joshua or Isaiah it says, 41, 10, it says, fear not for I am with you. And so we see in the scripture over and over again that you tell your children not to fear. You tell your children not to fear. There's no reason for us to fear if we know who is on our side. There's no reason for us to fear if we know who is with us. There's no reason for us to fear if we, if we know who's already one ahead of us. There's no reason for us to fear God. And so we thank you that you remind us uh, in scripture after scripture to not fear. Fear not. Fear not, you say in Isaiah. Fear not. And so we will not fear today because it says that you are with us. You say, do not be dismayed again for you are our God. And thank you that you will strengthen us, God. According to your scripture, you will strengthen us. You will, you will help us as well. Scripture says you will strengthen us. You will help us. You will uphold us with your righteous right hand. And so we thank you that you are always holding our hand, God. You are always, always upholding us with your righteous right hand. Thank you, God, that we will lean into that today and know that you are upholding us, Lord. And we thank you that according to Zephaniah 317, it says the Lord your God is in your midst. And we thank you that you are in our midst. It says a mighty one who will say, because you are mighty indeed. We thank you that you will rejoice over us with gladness. Thank you that you are rejoicing over us right now with gladness, Lord. We thank you that you will quiet us with your love. We thank you that you will exalt, you will exalt over us with loud singing. You will exalt over us with loud singing. We thank you that you're singing over us today. We thank you that you're singing over us today. We thank you that you will drop us in our spirit a song for us to, to meditate on today. Whatever song that we hear, God, we will, we, will, we will listen to and know that that is the song that you're singing over us. That is the song that you're singing over us. And I thank you that according to Matthew 28, 20, it says that you are teaching us to observe all that you have commanded and it says that, behold, this is Jesus. He says that he is with us always to the end of age. Thank you, Jesus, that you are with us always. According to your scripture, we believe the word of God. We believe the word of God, that you are with us always to the end of the age. And so I thank you that according to Psalm 30, uh, 23, 4, it says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, it says, I will fear no evil for you are with me. It says, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And so I thank you that even though we walk through the valley, even though we walk through the valley, it's just a shadow. It's just a shadow of death because Jesus has already conquered and defeated death. It's just a shadow. That's all it is. It's just a shadow. It can't do any, Satan can't do anything to us. Death can't do anything to us because Jesus defeated death on the cross. So we thank you that we will not be worried. We will not be worried. We will continue to walk through. I will fear no evil. We will fear no evil. No matter what we see the evil in the world, we will not, we will not fear the evil in the world. We will not fear what is going to happen today, what's going to happen this week, what's going to happen next week. We're not going to be in fear of anything. We're not going to be in fear because we know who's on our side because you are with us, Lord. It says again, we see in the scripture over and over, you say, do not fear over and over. And you say, you are with us over and over and over. And so allow that to be in our spirit today and this week that the Lord is with us. The Lord is covering us. The Lord is watching over us. The Lord is guiding us. We thank you for your guidance, Lord. Thank you for your, your guidance. 
Thank you, Jesus. And we thank you according to John 16, 31. Jesus said, do you now believe? He said, behold, the hour is coming. Indeed, it has come when you will be scattered each to his own home and will leave me alone. Yet I am not alone for the father is with me. And just the same way that, that you are with Jesus, God, you are with us. You are with us. No matter even the disciples left Jesus and it was just Jesus and you. And so no matter if anybody leaves us, no matter if our friends turn their back on us, no matter if our family turn their back on us, no matter if even our own spouse may turn their back on us, God, we thank you that, that you are with us. You will never turn your back on us. You will never leave us. We always have you, God, which if we have you, we have everything. It does not matter who leaves us. It does not matter. It does not matter because we know that you will never leave us the same way you did not leave Jesus. And then Jesus says, I have said these things to you that in me you may have peace. Peace that surpasses all understanding is from you, Lord. It is a fruit of the spirit. And it says, in the world, you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Thank you, Daddy, that we will have tribulation. It's a part of the walk. It's a part of the walk. But we will tap into the, to the words of Jesus and we will take heart because Jesus has always has already overcome the world. And we thank you to according to Roman 8, 8, 831, it says, for God, if God is for us, then who is against us? Nobody. If God is for us, who can be against us? Nobody can be against us. Nobody can be against us because we have you covering us. You got our back, Lord. And so we thank you, God. We thank you for that reassurance. We thank you for the words, the words for us to stand on all day today that you have given us not to fear. That is the reoccurring thing that you have said in these scriptures, do not fear. And then just be aware, be aware that the Lord is with us. It's about awareness. It is about awareness. It's about perspective because the truth is that he is with us. But can you, can you see, do you understand that he is with us? Because if we understand that you are with us, then we will move different. If we understand that you are with us, then we will, we, will, we will think differently. We will have hope. We will have faith. We will have joy because our Lord is on our side. But it is when we forget. It is when we forget that the Lord is with us. The Lord is covering us. The Lord is fighting on our behalf. That's when we start to fear. That's when we start to be anxious. That's when we start to worry because we forgot. We can't see. We can't see. We got to shift our perspective. And so we thank you, Jesus. We thank you for the shift in this morning. We thank you for the shift in this morning. We thank you for the shift in. Thank you, Jesus. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, amen. God is good. God is good. God is good. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. God is good. <clears throat> amen. Thank you, Jesus. According to Psalms 40, it says, I wait, said I waited patiently for the Lord and he reached down, he reached down to me and heard my cry. He brought me up out of the pit of destruction, out of the mud, and he set my feet on a rock, making my footsteps firm. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and I will trust in the Lord. And verse four says, how blessed is the man who has made the Lord his trust and has not turned to the proud, nor to those who become involved in falsehood. It says, many, Lord, my God, are the wonders which you have done and your thoughts towards us. There, uh, it says, there is no one to compare with you. If I would declare and speak of them, they would be too numerous to count. <clears throat> I'm gonna read that again. That's good. Verse five says, many, Lord, my God, are the wonders which you have done in your thoughts towards us. There is no one to compare with you. If I would declare and speak of them, they would be too numerous to count. It says you have not desired sacrifice and meal offering. You have opened my ears. You have not required burnt offering and sin offering. Then I said, behold, I have come. It is written of me in the scroll of the book. I delight to do your will, my God. Your law is within my heart. And in verse nine, it says, I have proclaimed, I have proclaimed good news of righteousness in the great congregation. Behold, I will not restrain my lips. Lord, you know. 
And it says, I have, I have not hidden your righteousness within my heart. I have spoken of your faithfulness and your salvation. I have not concealed your mercy and your truth from the great congregation. It says, you, Lord, will not withhold your compassion from me. Your mercy and your truth will continually watch over me. For evils beyond number have surrounded me. My guilty deeds have overtaken me so that I am not able to see. They are more numerous than the hairs of my head. And it says that and, and my heart has failed me. And verse 13 says, be pleased, Lord, to rescue me. Hurry, Lord, to help me. May those be ashamed and, and humiliated together who seek my life to destroy it. May those be turned back and dishonored who delight in my hurt. May those be appalled because of their shame who say to me, aha, may all we seek you rejoice and be glad. In, may all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation continually say the Lord be exalted, but I am afflicted and needy. May the Lord be mindful of me. You are my help and my savior. Do not delay my God. Amen. That's King David. Amen. And then um, I'm going to read. I'm going to read Psalm 39. It says, I said, I will keep watch over my way so that I do not sin with my tongue. Let me read that again. I said, I will keep watch over my ways so that I do not sin with my tongue. I will keep watch over my mouth as with a muzzle while the wicked are in my presence. I was mute and silent. I refuse to even say something good. And it says, I refuse to say even, even something good. And my pain was stirred up. It says, my heart was hot within me while I was musing the fire burn. Then I spoke with my tongue. And it says, Lord, let, let, it says, Lord, let me know my end. And what is the extent of my days? Let me know how transcendent I am. Behold, I have made my days like hand widths. Behold, you have made my days like hand widths. And my life, it says, in my lifetime as nothing in your sight. Certainly all mankind standing is a mere breath. Certainly every person walks around as a fleeting shadow. Oh my God. They certainly make an uproar for nothing. He amasses riches and does not know who all gather them. He amasses riches and does not know who will gather them. And now, Lord, for what do I wait? My hope is in you. Save me for save me from all. Let me slow down. Save me from all my wrongdoings. Do not make me an object of repro reproach for the foolish. I have become mute. I do not open my mouth because it is you who have done it. Remove your plague from me because of the opposition of your hand. I am perishing. With rebukes, you punish a person for wrongdoing. You consume like a moth what is precious to him. Certainly all mankind is mere breath. And in verse 12 says, hear my prayer, Lord, and listen to my cry for help. Do not be silent to my tears, for I am a stranger with you. Um, it says, one who lives abroad like all my fathers. Turn your eyes away from me that I may be cheerful again before I depart and am no more. Oh, this, who is this? King David, oh, oh my Lord. Oh, what's going on? What's, where, where, who he, what, he, what was going on with this? Oh, amen, amen, amen. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a pretty serious song. Praise God, amen. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. God is so good, God is so good. God is so, so good. Thank you, Instagram, for tuning in for prayer and worship. Thank you, TikTok, for tuning in for prayer and worship. We're going to be on YouTube for a little bit. Okay, so if you want to join me, I feel real tired. My eyes. If, if you want to join me on YouTube, please, please come over. It's Lala Jenkins. It's the same thing on Instagram, TikTok, and um, YouTube. It's Lala Jenkins, okay? All right? And so thank y'all for tuning in. Okay, thank y'all so much. Let's see, Ian. That's some meat. Some, yeah, some real meat. That's, that's serious. That thing's serious. God is good. God is good. Okay, so let me let me get this thing together. What's today? The eighth. It's the eighth. What's today? April. 
April 8th. God is good. God is good. April 8th. Prayer and worship. I, I got to take communion. Prayer. I forgot to take communion on, on the thing. Prayer and worship. Okay, let me take communion. Okay. What do we, what is, how, how do you spell worship? Here we go. Okay, so let me get my cover. God is good. Thank you, Jesus. God, is good. Okay, hold on. Let me get this thumbnail. Let me get this. Give me a second, y'all. Let me get this thumbnail. It's, gonna, it ain't, it's not going to take long. Okay? We, we believe in it. It's not. <laughs> we, see the, we see the reality. Okay, let me see. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, that's me singing. Um, just give me something where I got, I got praying hands or something. Give me some praying hands. So people know what I got going on. Okay, no, not like this though. Give me some praying hands. Okay, there we go. There we go. That works. Give me some praying hands on there too. Praying hands. There we go. Okay. Hey man. Hey man. God is so good. Who is this? Is it? Is it how much you call look? Hey, you know he look like that. Okay. Praise God. God is good. Okay. Let me take my. Let's take a million. Okay. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Take this communion. Thank you for what you did on the cross, Jesus. You are so good. You are so good. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you that your body was broken. It was bruised. You was chastised. You were humiliated for our sake. So we can be in, in relationship with Jesus. We thank you for your sacrifice, Jesus. We thank you that you were the lamb. You were the sacrificial lamb. We thank you, Jesus, that you endured all of the pain for us, the humiliation. You, you had no sin. You knew no sin, but you took on our sin for us so that we can be in right standing with the Lord. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you that you you had to send you had to send your son for us. You didn't have to, but you did. You did not have to, but you did. And so we thank you, Jesus. We honor you this morning. We remember what you did on the cross. We thank you that that you died. We thank you that you was buried, and we thank you that you rose again. You rose victorious. And so we eat this in remembrance of you. Thank you, Jesus. Your blood. Thank you for the blood that covers. Thank you for the blood that cleanses. Thank you for the blood that heals. Thank you for the blood that delivers. It is because of your blood. It is because of your blood. And so we thank you that, that the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus speaks better things. The blood of Jesus. We thank you that it speaks forgiveness. We thank you that we are justified because of your blood. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, God. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the cleansing, for the renewing, God. Thank you, Jesus. So we drink this in remembrance of you. Mm. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Mm. I don't know what be going on leaving them burps. God, uh, Jesus, God and Jesus. Good. God the Father, God the Son, God the Spirit is good. Come on. The Trinity is good. Oh, God. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you that she was in. You were still in this thing. Thank you. Wasn't you was in this thing since the beginning? Thank you for having your way, Holy Spirit. We welcome you here. We honor you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 God is good. Oh, this is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. 
This is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. I'll count it. I don't got myself a little off. Me. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the day. This is the day. How many of you know it's the day? Okay. Uh, it started to sound like grandma's church now. Yep. Mm hmm. I had to stop. I don't really, I don't really, I, because I, 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 you know, I grew up, I grew up, well, I don't know if you know, but I grew up, you know, I grew up Baptist, so I know them old, them old things. But I can't, I can't really, I can't remember what all they would say when they were like, you know, how many you know it's the day? I, I, I really, I, you know, I can't really, I can't really recreate that because I, I, I ain't really had that soulful. I used, I was in, I was in church, but I was uh, in the world. So, uh, you know it. Come on, Brandy, that with the the organ, dun 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 dun. The shouting, you they they get that that organ uh, revved up. You know people about to start running around. People about to start running around. I just used to be sitting there looking, looking at them running around, running around every Sunday, running around. I'm over here like, yeah. But I used to like a little, I like a little, uh, I like a little, uh, I don't know, that, that's, I mean, that's a universal song. But I was just saying, um, as far as, like, you ain't never ran a lap, run a lap? No, not at all. I mean, no, I uh, I grew up, when meaning, grew up meaning like I was little. I was little when I was in, when I was in like a, a Baptist traditional church. I was little. But then when I like kind of got, High school, high school. I went to a church that was honestly spiritually dead. Uh, there was, it was. We would just sat there and we looked. Um, college, I went to. It was a non-denominational church, but um, church on Live Stream with Miss Lala. <laughs> I went to a, a non. I went to a non-denominational church, uh, but it was a church in like. It was a it was a church like a lot of the college students went to, so it was like I, we went we weren't running around. Now we would there would have sometimes we had you know a little shouting service where people would, you know, but it wasn't like we wouldn't be like running around. Like, it wasn't like Pentecostal ish. It was just you know we just clap real hard and it ain't like because I'm in college like we I was in college so I was like trying to be cute so I'm clapping you know I'm just keeping it cute and ain't 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 got no when you got a true relationship with Jesus you ain't you ain't trying to be cute you 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 praising God and so I ain't had no relationship at that time so I'm just over just clapping along real hard and then after that went probably the happy hour or something like chill went to brunch I don't know but um yeah so I mean now I ain't gonna run no lap but I show you know do a little something I don't know I don't know <laughs> yeah Kali was trying to break her sweat <laughs> Yeah, we were trying to keep it cute in college, especially because the, the college I went, the, the church I went to, it had like my my crush. My crush was the pastor's nephew. My, cr my crush was the pastor's nephew. You got pee? Hold on, let me let, me let Charlie. You got Patty? Hold on, let me let, let, me let Charlie out. So my crush was the pastor's nephew at the church I went to in college. So y'all know I wasn't doing too much because I'm trying to be cute. Keep it cute because I'm like, hold on, because there he go over there. <laughs> you know, like, chill. If I, man, if I really in the Lord, I wouldn't care nothing about that man. I'd be uh, praising God because I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't worried about no man when, I, when the Lord is in the room. I ain't worried about no man. I ain't care about no man. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. Chill. 
I'll tell you that. That's why I be on here like, you know, sometimes I be crying on here and stuff. I be, and it's probably some attractive men instead of be watching this stuff. That I don't, yeah, I don't care about them. I don't care about the men. <laughs> I don't care about that. I care about Jesus. I care about Jesus. And so we praise God. We praise God. Praise God. Whew. Okay, praying for you. Praying for you, God loves. Definitely praying for you. Definitely praying for you that the Lord will provide whatever you need. The Lord will provide everything you need, my Lord. My Lord, that the Lord will provide everything that you need. Um, okay, so we, um, God is good. God is good. God is good. Definitely praying. <clears throat> Wow. Wow. God is, God is, God is moving. God is moving. God is good. Ooh. Um, <clears throat> what, what time the thing is supposed to hit? What, what time the thing is supposed to hit? Thank you. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. I'm trying to, my thing, I feel like my, Y'all, this is a wig. And my wig is a little twisted. Give me a second, because it's really working my nerves. It's twisted. It's not. <laughs> I got I kind of threw it on this morning. Give me a second, y'all. I know this is this is very, this is very. Let me pull it down. Hold on, because it's still it's still sitting too high up on one side. <sighs> it's it's sitting too, it's sitting too high up. Oh, different times been a location. Okay. I said I was gonna look at the uh, thing. Don't mind me. Don't y'all please, because I know y'all probably like girl, what is going on? 3 p.m. Is that what time it's gonna hit Dallas? Um, 2 p.m. What time it's gonna hit Dallas? Um, around 120. Okay, 124. All right. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let me see. Okay, sorry, y'all. I'm just. This thing is just. It's real lumpy. I like for it to look a little bit more flatter than this. I ain't get a chance to. I just threw this thing on. This already, it was already in a ponytail. I just threw it on. <laughs> Child, <what? laughs> tell me what live you, that's gonna do that. Somebody gonna be like, let me fix my wig. Somebody probably would. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna lie nobody. I gotta. It's this part right here, like this, like it's this. It's this. Oh, you know what? I need a. That's what I need. I need a safety pin. I need a safety pin. I need a safety pin. Uh-uh, my Bible study's on Zoom. <clears throat> my Bible study's on Zoom. I need a safety pin. That's what I need. <sighs> I don't got no safety pin, so we just... I mean, Bobby pin. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Girl, wait. You put, I'm putting safety pins in my head. Girl, get me together, Melissa. Get me together. I'm telling you. Girl... My Lord, what is going on? Oh, 1008 in Arkan in Arizona. Oh, y'all about to it's about to be up. Arizona, you in here. You in here. Come on, you in here. You in here. You in here. Let me uh <clears throat> I wasn't gonna say nothing. <laughs> Keisha, you used to get me together. Well, now, why you gonna have me out here talking about I'm putting a a, a, a bobby pin, a what it know, a safety pin in my head? Y'all want me to, uh, Yanni? Let me let me drop this. Let me drop the website. I'm gonna drop the website in here for the for Bible study. Uh, I'm gonna drop the website in here for the Bible study for Bible study and for prayer call. I want y'all to come. Everybody, come look at this for Bible study and prayer call for women. Women prayer call we do tomorrow. Okay, okay. Let me put this on here so because I want to make sure y'all come out. Prayer call and Bible study info. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Nine forty-five Jamaica. Oh, it's a partial eclipse in Florida. What? Really? Wow. Okay, let me put let me pin this. Cause I want to make sure y'all uh come on. Okay. 
Prayer call and Bible study info. Make sure y'all pull up. Why y'all was going to have me put a uh, safety pin in my head? Y'all don't care about my life? I wasn't going to put no safety pin. I was going to put a body pin. It's still been, I, I would have had my little body pin time. A safety pin. Like, girl, what? <laughs> like, is that a Dallas thing? <laughs> I could have had my thing turned to the side. Like, this kind of cute. It's giving, it's giving, uh, wanna dance with somebody. Wanna be there. No, we don't want to feel no heat. You got, to, you got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me singing that song. I don't want to feel no heat with nobody unless it's the Holy Ghost. What you mean? Sorry, Lord. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. This is what happen when you take somebody out the world. That world be trying to hang on. Let it go. Come on, Come on. I want to dance with Jesus. We got a remix. I'll be, I'll be remixing them songs. Um, Come on with the spirit. I know that's right. With it, Jesus who loves me. Um, those songs are popping up in my head too. I mean, you got, I mean, you know, like for real, for real. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Okay. All right. So, um, what about to say? <clears throat> I remix in group. Oh, the song. <laughs> Sometimes it just comes out. You be like, wait, what am I doing? Yep. Yep. I need to pull my thing. I gotta pull. I gotta start pulling my mic up because I feel like um, microphone check one two. I feel like it was the sound would be more clear if it was like right here. But I don't have a, I need to put some books. I need some books. I need some books. Hey, microphone check. One, two, two. A, 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 A. It's your girl, La, and I'm from that egg town. Yo. All right. Let's put that down. We're not going to be doing that all day. Um. <clears throat> yes. It still sounds the same. You got to be kidding me. This still sound the same as this. You got to be kidding me. <laughs> No, I could actually tell the difference when I was uh when I was doing my editing last on the last live and I kind of came up like this. I could I could definitely tell. I'm like, dang, it sound I sound clear and close. <clears throat> Y'all say this thing, this this still sounds the same. This this still sound the same. Is my volume up? For real? Is it is it y'all it don't sound no different? Girl, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I can hear the difference. Exactly the same. Y'all gotta be kidding me. Sounds better away. <laughs> I could I could hear the difference. I could hear the difference when I was listening. Well, okay, it, it's all right. Get up, people, what they want. It might be a laptop microphone. Is it? Yeah. Is that what it is? You gotta be kidding me. Test one, two. Is my thing not? Oh, child, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, <laughs> y'all, my mic probably is not even on. My mic is probably not even on. Is it on now? Is it? Man, I'll be mad. Cause. I mean, my thing ain't hooked up. Can y'all hear? Test one. Yep. No. No. It ain't on. It ain't on. It ain't on. So it still sound the same? <laughs> y'all gotta be kidding me. I need a new mic anyway. Okay, hold on. Okay. Ooh. All right. So, um... Good morning, I see and hear you. 
I know y'all can hear. I'm just trying to see if it was a difference in the sound, though. Um, okay. So, y'all want to know what what we gonna work on today? <laughs> y'all gonna be sick of me. Y'all gonna be sick of me. Oh, y'all gonna be like, I'm getting off of here. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this girl. <laughs> I got I gotta I gotta get back to working on my videos. I still didn't work on them. <laughs> All right, so we're we're back working on uh demonic movies part two. It's <laughs> y'all wanna continue to help? Cause that I still did not. As y'all can see, y'all probably was like, where did demonic movies part two? It ain't out. I haven't finished it. it I got as far as what we came up with. Like this live, last live, a live before. Oh God! But in Jesus' name, we are going to do it. It's going to be. It's going to be recorded this week. It is going to be recorded this week. My my days have just been so. Oh goodness, I can't keep up. Um, it's just been a lot going on. But we praise God. I'm about to get these amount of movies together, and we about. I'm about to get it together. Okay. So we got three. We got three. Um. <clears throat> the omen, child, the omen. You know that's the money. Let me see. Okay, let me see. So I wrote down the videos that I need to record this week. I need to finish right now and recording because I've been trying for, um, I've been trying for the last two weeks to go ahead and record this demonic movies part two. But I have not got to it. Okay, so let me see. Because I wrote down. Okay, YouTube vids. Here we go. I got we got four. We got four coming out this week. Okay. So the first one is Black Panther is demonic. Okay. Black Panther is demonic. All right. That's, that's one of the that's one of the ones because I was going to include Black Panther along with the demonic movies part two, but Black Panther gotta be gotta be its own its own video because the black culture love them some Black Panther. And we don't really understand what all that entails. Okay, all right, and so I'm gonna do a video on that one. Let me see. I got me some links. I got me some. Um, okay, I got this. I got this. I got this. Okay. All right. And so I watched Black Panther in the second one as well. I watched the first one. Did anyone else feel weird doing the ship scene in Black Panther when they were chanting people were falling off the ship? We should have felt we should have felt weird the entire movie. Um, let me see. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So I have okay, hold on. I got a link. I'm gonna read this. I'm gonna read this this. Um, article. Okay, I need to put that. Okay, article. Let's see this Black Panther article. Because I need to read this. Here we go. Read article that talks about ayahuasca in the first Black Panther. So, okay, here we go. When um, Chadwick Boseman, he drinks the little thing from the little cup thing. That is ayahuasca because he goes into like this like whole little ab abyss type place where he's talking to his ancestors. That's pretty much what happens when you take ayahuasca. And so that's what that um that's what that is. That's ayahuasca. Okay. And so I have an article of a person. Who his who's very he's very seems like he's very into ayahuasca and he he does a whole write up about how it is um you know he breaks it down for Black Panther so I'm gonna read that and I'm gonna read that in the video you better believe what we what we do we read we read in the video okay because I could try to describe it but it's better if somebody that did all the research and know about it if I could just read what they don't wrote up okay so we can see okay. No Wakanda forever, then. Nope. 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 No Wakanda forever. Mm-mm. Heart-shaped herb. Yep. 
that heart shape herb. Yep. Okay. And so, um, okay, Black Panther's demonic. Okay. So we're going to read article. Okay. Give me, Lord, Lord, let me see. <coughs> what is the scriptures? <coughs> You can't drink from the cup of, yeah. Can't drink from the cup of cup of demons. What's the scripture? Can't drink from cup of demons. Cut, yeah, yes. You can't drink from the cup of the Lord and a cup of demons. You cannot partake at the table of the Lord and table of demons. Yep. Okay. So that's Apostle Paul 21. Let me see. 21. Let me see. 21, 21, 21. 21, 21, 21. Look at the people of Israel. Are those who eat the sacrifices not partners in the altar? What do I mean then? That food sacrificed to idols is anything, or is that an idol is anything? No, but I say that things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to demons and not to God. And I do not want you to become partners with demons. You cannot drink of the cup of the Lord and a cup of demons. You cannot partake of the table of the Lord and the table of demons. Or do we provoke the Lord to jealousy? We are not stronger than he, are we? All things are permitted, but not all things are of benefit. All things are permitted, but not all things build people up. Okay, so let me write this down. Okay, so what's that? First Corinthians 10, 21. First Corinthians 10, 21. Okay, your eyes, your eyes, eyes are a lamp. Lamp. Okay. Your eye is the lamp of your body. When your eye is clear, your whole body is also full of light. But when you're, but when it is bad, your body is also full of darkness. <clears throat> yep. Okay. So let me look into Luke eleven. 33. Okay, so 34. Okay. Um, yes. Yep, spirit of black. Let me see. Okay, so let me, okay, let me see. Okay, so I only seen the first Black Panther. So let me see. I don't really know what the what the second one got in, but I gotta hit it. So let me see. Um let me see. Okay. Black Panther 2. Uh, CS Spiritual, what you in here talking about? Yeah, thank you, Bella, for joining. The second one probably deals with marine spirits. I'm just asking, you having a whole conversation? I, don't, I can't understand. I don't know what you're talking about. Let me see. Um, <clears throat> Black Panther 2. So I do know for sure the Lord definitely, um, and I think that's because I asked. I didn't ask for the first one, but I definitely asked for the second one. I definitely did not get an okay 
to go see the second Black Panther, Black Pan Panther Wakanda Forever. That's the second one. Um, I look so much younger and prettier without makeup. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let me see. Let's see. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to have to see how I can hit the second one because I don't really know much about it. Hmm. That's what a lot of people say. That's what a lot of people say that they wish they had not seen the second one. I have a close friend that was like, girl, I should have got about that, that theater and left, but I didn't. Um, let me see. Let me see. Uh, okay. I'm gonna have to see because I'm not really even sure about the second one. Like I said, I don't know nothing about the second one. I'm gonna have to just watch. I'm gonna have to watch the trailer. That's probably what I'm gonna have to do. I'm just have to watch the trailer. And see, man, you can already see by this imagery that it's, it's demonic. Um, let me see. Um, Bella, there is a difference between purpose and spiritual gift. Um, so when it comes to, one thing I always say is like, when it comes to I'm trying to figure out like your purpose, your calling, which purpose and calling are different, but just trying to figure out why the Lord has, has placed you here. You're going to get that from a, a relationship with him. I would always say if you're in this period of just trying to figure out why you're here, I would honestly shift, shift the view to God, trying to really get to know the father. And when, when you are getting to know him, um, as you get to know him, he will start actually pulling you he will start molding you. He'll start pruning you. He'll start putting you on a path that you're supposed to be on. Um, so I would really recommend, I would really recommend shifting your focus to the Lord. But when it comes to spiritual gifts, that is, um, the scripture actually talks about, you know, the, the, the different spiritual gifts uh, with Apostle Paul. What chapter is that? So it talks about the different spiritual gifts. That would be, that would be good for, um, you know, informational just to learn about the spiritual gifts. In 1 Corinthians 12, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, it talks about the spiritual gifts. Um, so the spiritual gifts are actually what, you know, what you will use, what the Lord will allow you to use to, to um, contribute to the kingdom of God. And so once you continue to to strengthen your relationship with the Lord, he will start to show you your spiritual gifts. He'll actually start to show you you, who you are in the kingdom of God. And he'll actually start to show you why he has placed you in the kingdom. He'll show you your calling into the kingdom. Um, that, has, that's, that has been what has happened with me whenever I just really focused on Jesus. Because that used to be, that used to be a whole thing. Like, what's my purpose? What's, what's my purpose? When I first got saved, I was like, what's my purpose? What's my purpose? What's my purpose? But I, like, eventually that kind of died out. And I just really shifted to um, just my focus is learning God and learning the word. Um, and once I just kind of deep dive into really learning the Lord and, and bonding with him, then I realized that my life started to shift into the calling that he had planned for me. Um, and so it wasn't even anything that I had to kind of like figure out. It kind of just kind of flowed. If that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. It kind of flowed. Um, it kind of flowed. And so that's what I always recommend is just right, right now, really just focusing on the Lord, who is God, trying to figure out who is God, who is God, who really, who is, who is the, who is our father? Who is Abba? Who is the God over the heavens and the earth? Who is him? Who is he really? Um, okay, so let me. Okay. 
Here we go. All right, Holy Ghost, because I'm so struggling with this, and it, he, he helping me. Okay, I'm going to type in Black Panther. He gave me Christian Review. Here we go. Christian Review. Let me see. It's because somebody in the faith has wrote up about, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let me see. Because I'm like, because I'm like, now, come on now. Because now the Lord just gave me Black Panther Christian Review. So I'm going to, I typed in Black Panther Christian Review, Black Panther 2 Christian Review on here. So I can see if there's a write up of, um, I'm sure he does. Mm, my grandparents had a whole walk on today at their church, the whole church dressed in African attire promoting the movie. Here we go. Here we go. Crosswalk.com. Four things parents should know about Black Panther Wakanda forever. Come on. Now, is this, no, hold on, no, are you doing a, are you doing a, um, is it, is it deep diving into, man, I need, I need some deeper than this. I need some deeper than this. It's probably not for kids. I need some deeper than this. No, that ain't gonna work for me. I need some deeper than this. Let me see. That was just a very high over, overview. An African Christian's review. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep digging. He said. She said. Throughout this movie, there are scenes of idolatry and ancestral worship. This movie is very spiritual. It's a very spiritual form. Not in a godly way. This is good. This, is this uh, this the first one? That's the first one. Did you do a second one? Cause let me see. Okay, hold on. Um, let me see. Okay, so let me let me let me let me say this. I found an article that says Black Panther and African Christians review. So I'm going to review that to see what insight she provides for that. Okay. Um, okay. God does not appreciate when others come onto other platforms and promote their own agendas. Yeah. What is going on? I'm trying to figure out what is going on. Cause I don't know what's going on. Um, let me see. Keisha, do you know what's going on? Cause I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'm trying to look at. I, I'm trying to look at the comments. I don't, all I see is capital, uh, capital words, capital letters. Um. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Shell, okay. Um, we want to be represented so much, it's almost idolatry. Ooh, speak. Okay, what kind of forever Christian review? There we go. There we go. Let's see. Let me see. Let me see. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Oh, oh. oh gosh. Good morning. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Ashley. 
Okay. Hi, Moesha. Hello. 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 Welcome. 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 Um, okay. I'm gonna keep having to, I'm gonna keep having to dig to find something about what kind of forever, because I don't know anything about the movie, but I do know that it is very, they, I did hear that it, it does, it does reference a lot of the Marine Kingdom because it's a lot of scenes where they're underwater. Okay. They are underwater. Um, let me see. I'm gonna have to, um, like I said, I'm gonna have to watch the, I'm gonna have to watch the, um, the watch me call it because I, um, I don't know. Okay, so, but we gonna get it together in Jesus' name. It's gonna come together because the Lord told me to do it. Then He gonna make sure I get I get what I need for this movie to come out. I mean, for this video to come out. Uh, but like, Panther is demonic. Uh, oh, praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Melissa. Praise God. Thank you for sewing into the ministry. Thank you for sewing into the ministry. Yes, it is. It is witchcraft. Yep. Uh, Chatrice. I am. Yes. Yes. Oh, did you? Help me, please. Help me, please. My church doesn't have a praise team. Um, but in the past, I have. I grew up in singing in church. Mm, let me see. Let me see. Steven dropped the link for me. I can't find it. Where you? Where is it at? I'm gonna scroll up. I'm gonna keep scrolling. Hmm. Okay, I can't find it. Steve, can you drop it again if you can? Praise God. Do my good singing on here. Praise God. Praise God. All for the glory of the Lord. Um. Okay. Uh, yeah, right now, for now. Yes, I guess that's, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. You just shared it again? What? I don't see it. Now, what is going on? I don't see the link. What is it? What's the name of it? I'll just look it up on, on Google. Okay. So, okay. So, we'll do Black Panther's Demonic. Um, yeah, it's not, I don't see it's even. Okay. Black Panther's Demonic. We'll do Demonic Movies Part 2. Demonic Movies. Movies part two. Yeah, I don't see the link, Stephen. Hmm. So we'll do demonic movies part two. Okay. And so um let's get into that. Now we don't, we don't know. I don't ask y'all plenty of times for some movies. I got the movies. Now I just have to deep dive and break each movie down. Okay. And so uh, sometimes YouTube, um, please allow us to share certain links even when they're on, oh, YouTube links. Okay, yeah, probably so. Mm. Yeah. Yes, click the link, Nisha. Click the link at the top of the, that's pinned and you can go and sign up for the ministry. Just click the home, home page. Uh, was Barbie a black movie? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about. I don't know about a Barbie. I ain't gonna lie to you. Barbie could pop up. I wouldn't even know who she was. Um, where this thing is? I'm not sure. I don't think it was though. I think it was just a. I don't think. I don't think Barbie. Barbie was a black movie. Black culture. It ain't never gonna be. What kind of forever? We rolling with God forever. Come on, Jesus is King. What's up? I know that's right. I know that's right. 
I will tell y'all this that I found out from this article where it talks about, oh, I have two articles. It's two articles I found. Where is the other one? It was two, two. Oh, you got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. What, <laughs> what other article is? I had found, oh, you got to be kidding me. Where is that article? It was an article I found about the gods that were linked, that are linked to Wakanda. Oh, oh no. Let me see. Here it is. Here we go. Oh, gosh. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Because I'm like, what? You got to be kidding me. Because this guy, oh, my goodness, this thing broke this thing down. I was like, what? Okay. So let me put this here. Read article. <clears throat> article. You, do y'all know? No, y'all probably don't know. Some people probably do. Uh, do y'all know where they where the the symbol this came from? The cross that they be doing, the was Wakanda cross sign that everybody was doing. I'm about to read this in the video. It is. It says the arms cross. Signify the loss of control of one's body and death. An ideal expressed in the Egyptian god Osiris, who was slain by his brother and chopped up in pieces. And so let me show y'all this. Let me show you 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 this. Let me show y'all. Let me see if I can find a picture of it. Y'all know how them, them things be doing it? Them Egyptian, them dead, them dead Egyptians and stuff, how they be burying them like that? That what that mean. That what them cross mean. That what that sign mean. That's exactly what it mean. Death. Yep. Did anybody know that? Look. Did anybody know that? Did not know, did you? I ain't know either. <laughs> I ain't even trying. I ain't even trying to front like I'm. I'm over here like y'all need to know. I ain't know either. But in Jesus' name, we praise God for awareness. We praise God for awareness. Everybody need mama doing it. Everybody need mama crossing them arms. Don't even know why you crossing them arms. Everybody crossing them arms. Look. Look at that. This your king? This your king? Ain't my king. This is Anubis, the god Anubis. You see Anubis at the bottom? That's a god, Anubis. I see the name. Can you see the name? Anubis Coffin. That's Anubis. That's actually the god of uh, Omega Sci Fi. That's Anubis. That's a dog head. That's a dog head. That's why Omega Sci Fi be referencing themselves as dogs because their god is a dog head. People don't understand that though. Nubis. It's gonna be in the video. It's gonna be in the video. Kijan, if you missed it, you you can rewind this live, but I'm this is actually I'm just I'm showing what's about to I'm about to put in that video. The barking spirit, yeah. I'm showing. I'm just. I'm just. Right now, I'm. I'm. I'm bringing y'all into my pre-plan, and I'm putting a video out called "Black Panther's Demonic." And so, I'm going to reference all of this. I found this article that broke down. It talked about like the different gods and stuff, and like the inspiration behind Black Panther. And so, you know that they're they're just reporting this as just like, oh, this is you know the god of you know Osiris, da da da. And it's not like to them, it's not like a thing, right? It's just like this is where the inspiration came from, and this is why they cross their arms because of this god. And it's like. It is what it is. But for us, we like, oh, no, nah. <laughs> we can't do that. That's the money. Like, you know, this is for Christians. It's like, no. But for the people of the world, it's like, oh, OK, that's so interesting that, you know, we're paying homage to the God, the Egyptian gods. But for us, it's like, no, nah, we can't do that.
So I'm going to call it out. Man. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. So I'm going to put this in my video. Um, I'm going to put this in my video. Joyce Meyer and a few other pastors have done this. I believe that. I believe that. Yep. I I did it too. I was pubbing for it. So I have, you know, pictures up. I mean, I delete them now, but I have pictures up, you know, uh, of me, you know, supporting the movie and, and whatnot. I deleted it though. That thing gone. That thing is gone. I sure did. Did I? I didn't archive it, did I? No, I didn't archive it. I deleted it. Nope, I deleted it. I sure did. I, I cleaned up. I cleaned up a lot of my uh, Instagram. I did. I yeah. I archive a lot of my stuff because I'm not. I'm not. Yup. Showed it. Now see, I didn't have a cross. Praise Jesus. The Lord didn't didn't allow me to. He didn't cross. I didn't cross my arms. But that's definitely me pubbing for Black Panther on my Instagram. Definitely me. And I didn't. I didn't do the cross. It must have been the Holy Ghost in me. Didn't allow me to cross. It says, so of course I saw Black Panther this weekend with the rest of the black community, LOL. I definitely, it definitely lived up to the hype and it made me love the Marvel movies even more. This movie just showed the world what we've been saying all along. Our black is beautiful. My God. My God. My God. Oh, Lord, that's me. I posted that 2018. I color the I covered the color color purple in my video, my original video, um, my crown, my glory. If you go to my if you go to my uh, YouTube, so this we talking about part two. So part one, I talked about color purple. Um, my Lord. My Lord. Let me see. Hold on. Let me um let me see. Hold on. Where my videos at? Hold on. Okay, hold on. Let me share. I'm gonna share the part one. Part one. Let's see. Okay, so this is the part one where I talked about color purple and all the rest of the other movies. Yes. Mm-hmm. The top Um this is let me see. Hold on. Cause hold on, cause let me check. Let me see. The jackal, you right. Mm-hmm. You right. But it's still it is a jackal. It is a jackal. But it's still like you can still see the um like the resemblance of like a dog. It is a jackal, but of like the resemblance of like a dog. Kind of similar. Yes, you're welcome. Yes. Mm hmm. Is a is a jackal a type of of dog, or isn't it a dog family? Let me look it up. Jackal. Dogs. Difference. So they're domestic. Oh, they're members of the they're members of the dog family, and their physical traits are generally simu similar. Yes, yes. Ain't it a wild dog? It's, I mean, it's a. Uh, let me see. 
The jackal is the can 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 C A N I D A E candy family consists of twelve generous uh, species, which can be categorized as a wolf, coyote, jackal, fox, and dog. Domestic dogs. Let me see. Um, Mm. Could be that they, because it says that they howl, they bark, they yip, they whine, and they growl. Jackals. Hmm. Uh, jackals look like jackals look like Doberman pinchers. They do. Come on, Shona. Is that how you pronounce your name? Yeah, yeah, I showed it. I, me too. I'm telling y'all, look at that picture with, with them bottles. I said, hold on, 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 hold on here. Because the Holy Ghost in me is saying it's something. This means something. And that's when he dropped Delana in my spirit. I was like, let me ask Delana. Let me ask Delana because she going to know. And sure enough, she pointed out them thing is some altars. Uh, I'm looking at them thing like, hold on, hold on. Yeah, that's different, but it ain't giving good different. It's giving demonic. It's giving demonic. And it was demonic, okay? Um, okay, and so... Um, I mean, yeah. Tanika, that's because that's you know the truth. Some people don't know the truth, though. You know the truth, Chi Chi. People, some people don't honestly, genuinely do not know. And so that's why the Lord was like, release that video. Some people really genuinely don't know. They genuinely do not know. Everybody, everybody don't, everybody don't don't know who she truly is. They do not know. So, okay. Okay, this thing just still sitting here. <laughs> we getting to it. We getting to it. Uh <laughs> when I first saw the hair products on your beauty on your video, yes, we're not saying it's a dog. We're saying it's in a dog family, though. That's just what I'm saying. It's it's all they're all it's a it's a different type of dog. It's in an all in the family, like jackals, hyenas, wolves, foxes, dogs. They're all in the same family. They're all in the same family. So it's not by coincidence that there that is their God attached to them. Um, China, China, China. Okay, okay. Some people know but want to be in denial about it. My Lord, my Lord. I mean, that's true. That's true. That's true. So we're gonna do yes. I'm gonna do a video entitled. I'm not gonna list all of the movies that you can see. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you some. Um, number one, we're gonna talk about the basis line for watching movies because I'm gonna give the scripture. Finally, brother, whatsoever is true, honest, just, pure, lovely, of good report, virtue, praise. Think on these things. So that is going to be the basis, but also in, in emphasizing the importance of the Holy Ghost. Okay. The importance of the Holy Ghost and the Holy Spirit allowing us to guide us to what we can and what we cannot watch. And also emphasizing sanctification and understanding that, you know, this comes with the sanctification process, really trying to figure out, you know, uh, what can I do? What can I do? Can, what can I do? But not necessarily like looking at it like in that lens. It's really not looking at it like a, a do and a don't because it's not like the Lord has given us rules or law. Like we're not under the law anymore. We're under grace. But what the Holy Ghost is going to do is we have the Holy Spirit in us. And so what the Holy Spirit is going to do is he's going to make sure that he keeps us on a path towards life. He's going to make sure that he keeps us on a path towards holiness. That's why it is the Holy Spirit. It is the spirit that is bringing us to holiness. And so as you continue to walk with the Holy Spirit, you're going to see that he's going to continue to pull you on a path to holiness. 
And so it's not going to be like a, I can't watch this. I can't do this. Da, da, da. It's going to be more of a, like a, I don't even want to do it. Any, <clears throat> I don't even want to do it anymore. I don't even want to watch this. This is not, this is not entertainment to me. This is not fun to me. Or when you're watching something, you're like, okay, nah, this is, this is, this is nice. It's nice. This is, you know, feel good. Feel good. This is entertaining and it's not, you know, sin. Um, and so <clears throat> I'm going to provide, <clears throat> hold on. <laughs> Got some congestion going on. I am going to provide some streaming Christian streaming services. Um, so I will provide a few Christian stream, streaming services where you can go, you know, go and watch the Christian entertainment. <laughs> Lose your hold. I'm saying like this congestion is just like so where you can go and, and, and watch Christian entertainment because it's not about and even the whole thing about me calling out the movies. Number one, we got to understand that there are a mil there are a million, a million movies. There are a million ton movies. OK, there are a ton of movies. And I've only so far called out like five, ten, eight, somewhere around it. So um, there are plenty of, of movies that we can watch. It's just a matter of finding uh, where they are. And so I'm going to list the streaming, you know, streaming services that does have, you know, good, wholesome movies that 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 are. That, that we can watch if you want to just watch a good wholesome movie you want to, you don't want to watch nothing with sin you don't have a desire to watch anything with sin then I'm gonna list these streaming services um, as well as some you I'm gonna get some YouTube channels too because ain't gonna lie to you honestly now I don't even watch TV like that I used to I was man I would binge watch a movie or TV show Netflix and chill in a minute but I mean now that I'm, I don't really I don't really have a desire to watch any of that anymore I really don't you know I just like to keep my mind stayed on Jesus for real I really do so a lot of times I really like last night I was watching a, a testimony on Delafe Delafe testimonies I was watching a testimony last night uh fell asleep on a testimony woke up it was why it was a grace, grace for purpose video on lady was speaking, speaking scripture and stuff over me. And I was like, praise God. I'm glad I woke up. One time I woke up and was, uh, <clears throat> what video? Who was that? Uh, Kai, Sanai Kai, whatever that man name is. They had the thing in New York, Kai Sinet. And it was like, What's that guy? What's that guy named 21 Savage? I woke up one, I woke up one day and they was on my screen. I was so disturbed. I was like, my lord, what is going now? What is going on here? I don't know how my YouTube rolled to them because I don't even watch them. I don't even watch content like that. So I was like, oh no, oh no. So I had to turn my TV. I was like, no, I'm turning this off. You know, any other time it will roll to like some of the scriptures or something like that. Um, but I mean, I'm gonna clear my throat too. Come on, I don't know. I just my throat is very congested right now, but, um, yes. Yeah, so I'm going to do a video with, you know, like I said, that scripture that I listed talking about sanctification, talking about the Holy ghost, um, the streaming services. And, um, I think about deleting Facebook. It's a big distraction. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, if you, if you feel led to, that happened to me. Me, I'm telling you, I don't know what was going on. I don't know what was going on. I don't know what was going on. I fell asleep and had, I was costing it. I'm like, it probably, it probably happened because I was looking into him when that thing happened in New York and I was trying to figure out what was going on. What's going on? Now, who is this man? And why are these people out in the street in New York? And so I think that's probably why a road to that. I ain't doing that again. I'm, I praise God. I praise God that it, it rolled to grace for purpose last night. It didn't roll to know with Diddy because I sure was trying to see what's going on with Diddy. Anybody know what's going on? I'm like, what's going on with Diddy? What's going on? And so I pray. I praise God. And I even even felt bad after I, I was I'm like, man, I'm wasting my time watching. But I ain't wasting my time talking about some talking about some Diddy. I don't waste my time. I don't. I don't. I already, I already prayed and interceded for the people that's affected to with you know what's going on with that. So I'm just like, eh. Oh, y'all deleting Facebook? Come on. He in it, he in it deep. I believe it. I believe it. I really do believe that. Um, I'm just I was just trying to see what was the, you know, the updates on what's going on with his 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 investigation, trials, whatever it is. Um, and so I ain't really, I mean, I ain't really, I mean, they just talking about it's, it's a suit against his son, and that hurt my heart too. That's that generational. That hurt my heart. 
his son was, you know, he got, got a lawsuit too. Uh, but look at how he used to act on making a band. <laughs> Pure Flix, uh, Up Faith and Family is one. Um, that's all I got so far for Christian streaming services. That's all I got so far. Uh, Marcus Rogers made a YouTube video about. Oh, did he? Was is that recent? I was trying to give me some recent, uh, recent updates. I'm just trying to figure out what's no, what's going on today. Yes, Della Faye testimonies is amazing. Come on, your children go to sleep. Uh, listen to Grace for Purpose. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Praise God. Praise God. Uh, let me see. Any suggestions that my kids kids remove them from the demon demonicness? <laughs> Come on, demonicness, especially when they're in school and out with their friends. You just honestly, you it, it's like it's honestly just what you do, what you do at the house, because you can't you can't really control what they do when they out. You can't really control what you what you what they do when they out. You just gotta make sure you continue to pray over them. At home, y'all all pray together, read the word together, speak life over them. Let them know that they are set apart. Keep drilling the fact that they are set apart. Read scriptures about them being set apart. The Lord is using them for influence. Make sure you let them know that the Lord is the Holy Ghost has chosen them to be a light unto their friends. Continue to instill that they are a light to their friends. They're, they're a light to the world for sure. But if they're hanging around their friends a lot, let them know that they're a light. You're a light to your friends. You are you are. You are the light of Jesus. And so just make sure that they know that. Just continue to speak life into them and continue to just, just speak over them. And while they're out, continue to pray that the Lord will cover them and that the Lord will, you know, continue to pull them, pull them closer to him and that they will not be easily influenced. Let they will be leaders, speak leadership over them. They will be leaders. They will not be followers because a lot of times kids get in trouble because they following along with other kids. And so you want to make sure that I praise God that that was what the Lord had instilled in me. I was always different. If, if the crowd was doing one thing, I was doing another. All my friends were having sex in high school and I, that's why I stayed a virgin the whole time. People was drinking in high school. That's why I did not drink because everybody else was doing it. And I was not a follower. I was always a leader. I had a leadership mindset. And so you pray that same thing over your children, that they will be leaders and not followers and that they will follow God. They will not follow the crowd. You just speak that over them. Let them know. Just let them know that y'all are leaders. Y'all are not followers. And so if, even if this, if the whole thing, if one, if, if all your friends jump off the, you know, the roof, then you don't jump off the whatever, like, but give real scenarios. If all of your friends are smoking weed, that does not mean that you have to smoke weed. You are the light. You be different. Don't be a follower. And you talk to them. Talk to them about how what, what smoking weed is and what it does to their temple. Talk to them about what drinking, what drinking is and what it does to their temple. Talk to them about the music. Like it's time to be transparent with our kids about all this demonic stuff that's around them so that they will know. Don't just tell them not to do it. Tell them why. Tell them what it is. Tell them about, tell them about the TV shows. Tell them about casting it. So look at, pull up some of his videos and be like, this is not of God. You see this, like how he's influencing kids to do this, like point it out. And so even if the kids don't seem like they listening, they listening, they listening, they listening, they listening. Okay. Speak leadership over your children. Speak leadership over your children. That they're leaders for God. That they are leaders for God. That they're trendsetters. They're trendsetters. Oh, um, that's all I got. I pray that help. I pray that help somebody that was watching. Even as, even if you got small babies, you still speak that over your babies. Even when they little, even when they, if you're pregnant in a womb, you speak that over your womb. Even if you don't have the babies yet, you speak it over your womb. Speak leadership, speak leadership, speak leadership over your kids that they will be leaders for God. They will not be easily influenced. And continue to plead the blood over your children. Anoint, anoint your babies. Anoint their heads. Put, put your hand on their on their head, on their body, whatever. Anoint them with that oil. Pray on them. Pray over them. Cover their rooms. Make sure you're keeping your eye out for the stuff that they have in their room, because some of them kids could have them crystals and stuff, some from their friends. Make sure you just keep an eye out for the stuff in their room. Don't. This is this is this is your house, your your apartment. You can go in their room, look around. Make sure ain't no tarot cards or nothing like that laying around. 
Ain't no bottles of alcohol, little small bottles laying around from, from school, from just somebody giving it to them, putting it in their backpack, look through their backpack, just making sure, just making sure, just making sure. And if they like, I ain't got no privacy. I mean, yes, you do, you do got, you can have a little privacy, but I'm just trying to make sure ain't nobody slipping nothing in your bag. That's all it is. I'm not trying to, I ain't trying to spy on you. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure I'm just trying to, trying to watch over. Make sure ain't nobody put no crystals or no tarot cards in your bags, okay? Don't have none of them accursed items in them baby's room. Look around. Look around. See if they got any CDs lying around. Any Bone Thugs or Harmony somebody don't gave them? Uh-uh. 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 What is this? What's this? We, I'm, let me, I'm going to hang on to this. I'm going to hang on to this. You throw that thing outside. Take it, put it in the dumpster. We don't have this in the house. We don't have this in the house. We're going to let them know what this is. I'm going to let you know what this is. This is a crystal. Okay, and I don't know what crystals. I know they demonic, but you research the crystals and how they demonic, and let them know <laughs> this is not of the Lord. Okay, this is demons attached to this. No, no, you don't. I mean, you ain't got to go out that deep. You ain't got to go out that deep, but <laughs> definitely break it down like in a way that they will receive. Don't listen to me. Be up in there talking about there's demons in here. Like just you know. <laughs> Bring it, bring it to a level that they will understand and receive. Okay, don't just because you know them kids be like, oh, demons! Like, every time they see so like a, a gem, I say, it's a demon. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> we not instilling fear in Jesus name. We not instilling fear in Jesus name. But uh, we are we are educating. We are educating in Jesus name. We are educating. I, I do. I, I ain't got no babies yet, but I do. I do firmly believe that the Lord, you know, and He told me that it's time to start educating our babies. It's time to start really explaining why, you know, yoga is not of God and, and why certain music is not of God, why certain TV shows, certain movies, certain practices, right? Smoking, drinking, all of that, tarot card readings, psychic readings, you know, them people, they be having a little pendulum pendul things on TikTok. I scroll up on the live and then just be doing a little thing. I'm like, what's going on here? And people be up in there. They up in there looking at them pendulums. Don't even know. Penelin is just opening them up for demons. Like, get out of here. Explain what that is. Whew, all yoga, morning praise, is not of God. Christian yoga, not of God. Chair yoga, not of God. Mind yoga, not of God. Any type of yoga, not of God. Okay. Come on, Jacqueline. I know that's right. Tell your daughter the truth. Give them that information. Come on. Mom's son knew about demons since he was four. Come on. Come on. Yes. Okay. If we don't tell, if we don't tell the truth, they'll believe the lie. Come on, Stephen. Work it out. That's true. If we don't tell them the truth, they will believe the lie. That is correct. That is correct. Okay. You tell these, you tell these, you tell these women and these men, y'all got some sons. Look, cause I ain't got no kids, but listen, we about to, we about to, we about to work it out because they, they coming in Jesus name, but you got some sons, you got some daughters, talk to them about purity. Both of them talk to them about purity and how their body is precious unto the Lord. Okay. And how their bodies is, is the temple of the Lord. And how they should honor the Lord with their bodies. That includes all type of sexual activity. These kids is out here. Let me tell you something. In, in elementary school, in elementary school, they was having sex. And that's back in my day. And so I know in elementary schools now, they, they still throwing it. Okay. So talk to the kids about their bodies. Talk to them. Talk to them about their they, they self-worth, their identity in Jesus. They are sons and daughters of the most high. Talk to them. Let them know that Jesus, they are co-heirs with Jesus. Break that down. Let them know that they are royalty. Their bodies are precious unto the Lord. Don't just be having no little boy and no little girl rubbing up on you, smelling on you, kissing on you. Get off me. This is the temple of the Lord. What are you? Uh-uh. This is, this is the, the Holy Ghost dwells in me. You can't be kissing on me like that. Like you got to like for real. Let them girls know. Let them boys know. Especially the boys too. The boys need to know about purity as well. It's not just women. It's it's the men too. The young boys need to know about purity as well. Purity. They don't need to be looking at, at looking at these little girls like they steak and meat and stuff like that. No. Okay. That is her. Her body is the temple of the Lord, and so is your body the temple of the Lord. And you can't be out here just filling on yourself. And little boys be trying to fill on themselves. Some of them. 
They're trying to fill on themselves because that's what Satan be trying to convince them to do, that their hormones is moving. So they want to just explore. Come on. Come on. Your body is the temple of the Lord. Don't be in there messing around with yourself. Okay. That is the temple of the Lord. You got to stay pure. Okay. Purity is your portion in Jesus name. So just to, you know, don't, you ain't got to say it the way I say it. Cause yeah, yeah be, them kids probably be like, my man listening to you talking like that. So, <laughs> but <laughs> explain it in a way that they will understand that, that, that purity is, is what they're called to. Even at a young age, we are, we are called to be pure unto the Lord. And, and then talk about, talk about what happens with little boys. Talk about what happens. Like when they're, you know, masturbating, they're watching porn, they're, 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 they're having relations with young girls or getting some type of oral from young girls. Let them know what that is. Let them know what that is. Like, you know, be, we got to have some truthful conversations. It's going to be uncomfortable. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And that's why I'm glad I ain't got to have it right now. But <laughs> But we, it has to happen. It has to happen. Yeah, elementary school. Girl, yes. Girl, yes. They was out there. They was out there. I was, my Lord. I knew, like, even at a young age, I knew, like, I still, like, I still, I still, there was still some generational things in me. But I still know, knew it was wrong. Like, I still knew it was wrong. Like, there was this girl in sixth grade, her, and she was Hispanic. Her boyfriend, I remember she said he was 16. She was 16. He was 16. And I feel like, and she would have hickeys on her neck. And so I know she had hickeys on her neck. They was probably doing some other stuff. But but she looked very, I, I, mean, I don't want to say her name, but she, her, I remember her because she looked very well developed for to be in sixth grade. She had chest, hair was pretty. She had like, you know, she was very shapely, but she was a baby. Erica was a baby and her, her boyfriend was 16 years old. I remember that. I still, I can see that girl face in my head because I remember she was like, 16, even me, like, yeah, I'm like, 16. She was like, yeah, my boy for 16, he about to pick me up. Da, 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 da. Like, I don't, he didn't, she didn't say he about to pick me up, but she did say that he was 16. I know that for a fact, that it's not a lie. She, we was in the sixth grade. Well, we was in, oh, is that sixth? Okay, that was sixth. I about to say, well, we in fifth grade? No, that was sixth grade, because we was outside in this little, yeah, sixth grade. Mm-hmm, sixth grade, sixth grade. Yep, and at that time I was watching Jerry Springer. We watching Jerry Springer at that time, and so we playing we playing Jerry Springer during the recess. We out there we act, we out there acting out what we seen on on Jerry Springer during recess. So I'm over here talking about you slept with my man, and da, 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 da. I'm about to fight you. And like this, you mean this why your man want me because you ain't handling your business like sixth grade. Acting out Jerry Springer. Ain't got no business watching no Jerry Springer in the sixth grade, but I was. And I was acting it out and I was cussing. I know I had a very foul mouth too. I know that for a fact. I used to cuss up a storm. So we all through, all through, all through recess, we just cussing each other out, talking about my man, this girl, I'm about to beat you up da, 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 from Jerry Springer. Jerry Springer. That's why you gotta watch, you gotta watch what your kids are watching. I ain't even lying to you. I ain't even boosting either. This ain't no lie. I tell you, I did that lying video. I can't be on here lying. I ain't even lying. I'm not even. I'm not even exaggerating either. I told you I had an issue with exaggerating, but I ain't exaggerating right now. I'm being hundred percent truthful. I'm being honest about that thing. I was in there cussing, and then one time we played Jerry Springer on paper because it was raining outside and we couldn't go outside for recess. So we writing, we writing, cussing each other out on the little paper. The teacher came, took the paper. And she, like, we got in trouble. So she took the paper and she put it in her desk. And we was trying to get the paper out of her desk because we was like, oh, no, we're going to get in trouble. So we tried to get the paper out of her desk. And somehow she ended up, like, catching us trying to get the paper or, or something. But she ended up calling our parents. And we got in trouble. We got in trouble. And she told our parents, uh, either she told our parents we was cussing and all this, or she, I think she gave the paper to my parents. I can't remember the full story, but I know that my mama... And my father, my father figure, he's not my true father, but my father figure was asking me like, so you like, you know, like what, like, so you like messing around and stuff like that? And I'm like, no, I'm not. I was not messing around. Like, you know, they think I'm actually doing this. And I'm just like, no, like, I'm just, it was just a show. We're just acting it out. Like my mama, they was like, y'all, you doing this? I'm like, no, 
But it was because it's the show. It's the show that I'm being allowed to watch as a child. Oh, my Lord. I had an eighth grade classmate who was pregnant, but I knew she was off by the sexual dances she did in the fifth grade during fifth grade. Did that, hello, I've been suspended for writing notes with cussing words on it, my Lord. The adults around these kids are exposing them to any and everything. They don't protect them at all. Yeah. No kid or adult for that matter needs to be saying anything from sexy red. Whew, my Lord. Um, but yeah, I don't know how, how we got on here. How we got on here? How we got on here? I don't know how we got on here. Um, so I'm gonna do a video about um just talking about entertainment for Christians. Okay, entertainment for Christians, and I'm gonna talk about sanctification, Holy Spirit, uh, community, the importance of, of having community, being in a community of believers. The Lord has not called us to do uh, life alone. He has called us to community. Some people, it could be he has you in an isolation period, but it is just for a period. He does not want us. He does not want us to do life entirely alone. Okay, entirely alone. Um, and so I'm, I'm gonna just and stress the importance of just being aware of the community that the Lord is creating. Even like you know some of the women that are here, like it's, it's, a, it's about the same women that come to Bible study, the same women that come to to prayer and worship, I mean, praise and worship. Um, and so the Lord is actually being intentional about creating community. You can, it can be a virtual community. It can be an in-person community, but it's a, it's a form of community where you, you do life together. The Lord does not want us to do it alone. And so I, I truly believe that community is going to help with the sanctification process. It is going to help, you know, so you can kind of talk out things that you're experiencing um, with your friends and some people, somebody could be like, girl, I went through that too. Or like, I had to give up that as well. Or somebody could be like, I'm going through that too, you know? And so you're able to, to bond with your sisters during the sanctification process. And, you know, just talk to your sister or brother about what the Lord is doing in your life or what he's revealing and, you know, what you feel like you need to work on, you want to work on. Um, you have questions about the faith. You have your community to talk about it with and pray. You need prayer. You got community for prayer. And so, oh, oh, Jerry Springer is dead. Video games, they're horrible. Yes. Yep. The video games is horrible. Watch, watch the video games that your kids play. They are, they are implanting, they are implanting, that's implanting spe uh, uh, speeds. What is it? Spirits. And spirits. And it's very, very heavy in them, in them uh, video games. Okay. That spirit of murder. Holy Ghost said that spirit of murder from the video games. Um, okay. So we're going to talk about that. Okay. We're going to talk about, okay. The whole, this whole world is wicked. It is. It's the whole the world is, of, the, is uh, of Satan. Satan is the Lord KG God of this world. Um, Yes, I have a 14-year-old son, and it's so uncomfortable. But once you open the conversation, it's not bad. You will be amazed at how much they know. I'm telling you, Mona, that's real. These kids be knowing so much. But, you know, because some parents don't talk to them about certain things, they talk to their friends about it. And so they get advice and influence from their friends because they're not talking with their parents about it. And some parents, some kids don't even think that they can talk to their parents about it. They feel like they, they will be judged or they might get in trouble for having certain feelings and, you know, being, being tempted and, you know, doing, even doing certain things, you know, they, they don't want to confess to their parents. And so you want to make sure you open up that open communication between your children, open communication between your children and so that they won't be sneaking and doing it. You want to you get ahead, open up the communication, start talking to them about certain things. That way, when it, when it comes up, the temptation and all of that comes up in school, they already, they're already like, oh, my mama already told me about this. My daddy already told me about this. Like, nah, I, I mean, as tempting as it is, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't even going to give into it. I'm good on it because I already know. I already know what could happen if I, you know, have sex with this girl or, you know, give in. Like, you know, so. Um. Yes, entertainment. Ooh, 
It's called entertainment for a reason. We're opening our souls to light or darkness. That is so good. I'm gonna write that down. Crystal, that is good. That is good. I feel like, did you did you comment? I feel like either you or somebody else had said that on my video. And I was like, that is good. Tain meant for a reason. Come on. I'm about to use that in my video. Best believe. I'm gonna say Crystal from the YouTube Live. <laughs> Mentioned, cause I, you know, I don't, I don't be, I don't want to be sit up here trying to make take credit for this. That's a great revelation from the Lord. Entertainment for a reason. Uh, we are opening. We are opening our souls. That's right, our souls. That is correct. Our souls to light. Or darkness. That's right. Or darkness. Okay, we got to be on alert. Got to be on alert. That is so good. Okay. 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 Praise God. Praise God. That's good. That's good. Uh, and I remember in days in my uh, days of our lives, they had a storyline that oh, Marlena was possessed. What days of our lives? My Lord. Mm, it sounds like being entanglement, entangled, entangled with, with spirits. Well, I spoke to my son as soon as possible. I felt having a conversation was better than the potential results of not having a conversation. That is correct. Inspire faith. Come on. That's wisdom. That's it. That's it. Yes. Come on. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Please raise your children because I cannot relate. And I had to go through a lot in this life just to still be learning how to get it right. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Oh, Pat, are you talking about soap operas, Keisha? I wasn't really, you know, I wasn't really into the soap. And there was one time I, I randomly, I want to say, I'm just going to guess. This is not me saying for sure. It's not me knowing 100%. But I want to I want to say it was summer. I'm going to guess summer of either sixth grade to seventh grade or seventh grade to eighth grade, maybe around that time. I had got into some random soap opera called Sunset. Sunset I think Sunset Beach. You show sure right. You show sure right, Holy Ghost. Sunset Beach. And I used to watch that. I used to be into that. I don't know why I was randomly into that soap opera, but I was into Sunset Beach. Let me see. Soap opera. Show was, son. Show was. Chill. I was into this Sunset Beach uh, soap opera. Wait, was this 1997? Girl, what? <laughs> I sure was. Oh, I sure was. Girl, look at this thing. Look at the people on the beach. Chow, I ain't had no business watching it. They, I feel like I just got that revelation, not by accident. I feel like that probably opened me up to a lot. This was a Sunset Beach. It was a soap opera that I used to watch all the time when I was younger. My Lord. My Lord. I didn't know this man. Y'all know the black man right here? I didn't know he was in Sunset Beach. Look at him. Child, I ain't had no business watching no Sunset Beach. But I was into that thing. I was into that thing. Wow. I used to watch that when I was younger. That's the only that's the only soap opera I know about. I know the names of like the days of our lives and the as the world turns. Uh I feel like my grandma used to no, my grandma used to really be into uh <clears throat> she used to watch uh I think Granny used to watch Perry Mason. Granny used to watch Perry Mason. She used to watch, oh, Granny really loved Law and Order. As, as we got older, Granny used to love some Law and Order. I used, to, I used to be watching Law and Order with Granny too. I used to be in there like, man, it's good, Granny. I'd be asking questions and Granny be like, I don't know. And so <laughs> Granny used to watch Law and Order. Uh, my grandpa, he watched them Westerns. He'd be watching the Westerns now. And I, so I, when I go to Mississippi, well, I, I probably ain't gonna watch it now that I'm trying to, you know, Trying to do do a little bit better with my what I'm watching on TV, but uh, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> Papa liked the westerns. He loved westerns, man. And them westerns be looking like that. And them them things be looking like they from 1990. I'm like, oh, 19. It be like 1920. It like they be from, from 1920. We watch them old school westerns. I'm like, Lord, Papa is something. But then he also liked to watch like 
uh, Wheel of Fortune and stuff like that. He liked to watch some regular stuff too. Cause I'm like, them Westerns is just, they look real old. Um, Young and the Restless, yes. Bold and the Beautiful. Mm, in the heat of the night. Yeah, grandma used to like in the heat of the night. Granny used to like in the heat of the night. Let me fix myself. I'm just all. I'm all. What's uh, Murder, She Wrote. Show D. My grandma used to love her some Murder, She Wrote, too. Texas. Oh, Walker, Te now, Walker, Texas Ranger. That was my grandma's show. She loved her some Texas Ranger. I ain't going to lie to y'all about that. She loved her some Texas Ranger, for real. She loved her some Texas Ranger. She did. She did. General Hospital, come on, yep. Mm hmm. <clears throat> mm hmm. Oprah, <laughs> come on. Uh, you need just call it all out. Um, okay. Let me see. Okay, so I have to, I gotta write down these. Um, Touched by, touch by an Angel <laughs> was a soda watch for real. Somebody who said that we're uh what Janae is. Janae had recommended that for to for me to say for Christians to watch. And I I, have, I gotta go back and see what Touch by an Angel got going on. Uh oh Lord, Passions is a show with the 600 year old witch named Tapatha. What? Girl, what? Seventh Heaven. Yep. What's going on with you, Charlie? Now we we not gonna be up and down. We're not gonna be up and down because I'm I'm on this live now. You gotta take a seat. Um, Charlie, you gotta take a seat. Do you have do you you gotta pee? Or you just want to go outside? Cause we can't be in and out now. Go take a seat. Oh, I got a thing. I'm gonna let you outside, but you're gonna be outside for a little bit. Cause we ain't gonna be in and out. I'm gonna let you sit out there. You're gonna be an outside dog for a little. Well, depending on that, that solar eclipse, cause they said the dogs gonna be going crazy. Um, don't be in and out, but go outside and sit outside for a little bit. Okay, stay outside for a little bit. Get your little air. Don't be in and out. Stay outside. Y'all can already tell I'm ready for kids. I'm sure I'll be like, y'all, either y'all in or out, and my kids gonna be playing outside. I don't know if kids still play outside, but then my kids gonna play outside because we ain't gonna be just be in the house all day uh, watching TV and stuff like that. Now you're going to get outside. You're going to play. You're going to get you some air. You're going to get you some sun and you're going to, you're going to get you some grass on you. These kids nowadays don't know nothing about no playing outside. That's all we was doing was playing outside back in the day. Outside do your body good. Get your energy and get your, and get your exercise too. Get you a little exercise. We used to be outside all the time. These kids nowadays don't know nothing about no outside. I don't know if they, they probably do. I don't know. I sound real old. <laughs> <laughs> they probably do know something about outside. I just I don't know. I heard talking like you got kids. I'm ready. Oh, wait, what? Lala, is the eclipse happening for you? Um, yeah, it is, but what time? <laughs> I'm telling you, the kids don't know nothing about don't know nothing about this outside. Let me see what time the solar eclipse hitting. <laughs> I sound like an old lady. These kids don't know nothing about no outside no more. <laughs> uh, let me see. Solar. Okay, hold on. I'm just trying to see what time. So they said 124. No, nah, I'm not gonna watch it. I'm gonna be praying. I'm gonna watch the I'm gonna watch the clips online later on, but I'm gonna during it when the solar eclipse happened, I'm about to be praying in the spirit. I don't know what that thing got going on in the spirit, but I'm about to be praying in the spirit. I'm not about to go out there and watch it. Let me see. I'm not about to go outside and watch it. Mm -mm. I, don't know, I don't know what that got going on with nobody's eyes, but I'm about to be playing in the spirit. Let me tell you that. It may, it may be fine. But um, <laughs> Stephanie, you're talking about meet me outside to fight. <laughs> now, if, if somebody on here feel late, let me say this. Somebody on, on here feel late to go watch it outside. Please go watch it. Please go watch it outside. Okay. If you feel, I don't know, if you feel led to, then just go ahead. Don't I don't want nobody to be like, I don't, I don't, I don't want to go outside because I said don't go outside. No, I ain't say that. I said, I ain't gonna be outside. Okay. I ain't about to be watching this thing. I'm just gonna watch a replay later. Okay. Okay. I got Bible study. Come on, Bible study. 
I'm going to be watching these prayers. Come on. Come on. Let me see. What I don't know what time. What time is it? Okay, 2024 Dallas. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I'm just trying to see things. Let me see if it has the exact time or when it's going to hit. 1206. 1206, really? Oh, okay, let me see. So ours is seen in two hours and 30 minutes. Two hours and 30 minutes. So that's, uh, it's 11 o'clock here, two hours. That's one, okay. Okay, well, about 1.30. I'm on a path here in Buffalo, New York. Mine is in full at 3.18. ATO 1.45, okay. <laughs> I'm going to be out there watching the Marvel Jesus creation. Come on. Come on. I feel like I was in bondage when I couldn't go outside as a kid. <laughs> oh, that's when it, that's when it started. Look to, look to see when it will reach its totality. Then it lasts a little long after that. Okay. To totality up to like 1.30 in Dallas. Okay. 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 So totality, oh, okay. I need to figure out what this means. I don't even know what none of this means. Y'all know I, oh, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I just be, I be out of touch. I be out of touch sometimes. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Deborah. Good morning. Uh, okay. So. Okay, so about 1.30. All right, so about 1 o'clock, I'm going to start my praying. So about 1.30, I could be slain in the spirit, prayerfully. All right. Um, folks purchase all the dang Airbnbs and Airbnbs in Texas just to see it for maybe a hot 10 minutes. Yeah, I know in Arkansas... Um, uh, my friend Tia was saying a lot of people were driving over there to Arkansas to watch it uh, for 400 for a hotel room in Addison. My Lord, that sounds normal anyway, though. Addison high. <laughs> 400 dollars a night is normal for Addison. I ain't going to lie to you. Addison high. <laughs> it's nice, though. I used to live close to Addison. Addison real nice. Um, It just means when the moon covers all or most of the sun. Yeah. I went to, um, I just went to my news, um, my news website, the Dallas Morning News, and they have, they have a, um, like a little countdown right here. So I'm pretty sure if, if you go to any, like whatever you, wherever you are, like your news, um, and they'll, they'll, um, oh, where I live, we're only getting 80% totality. Oh, how you know how you get, how you know who, who getting 100%? Are we getting 100%? We're sold out at the West End and Las Colinas is my job. It was going for 600 last week for a standard king. My Lord. Oh, you at, you at Las Colinas? What's up? I think I knew that. Bring you and Irvin. Mm-hmm. Come on, I used to work at the Marriott. I used to work at everything, honestly. <laughs> Any place. I used to work, I used to work at a funeral home. <laughs> I did for a quick second when I was doing temp. I worked in. I worked in like. Oh, I'm we get hundred percent. Oh, what's up? Hey, it's why y'all be trying to come to Texas because we get hundred percent of the solar eclipse. Um, I used to work at. I used to work in any and everything. I used to work at um, Marriott. I used to work in Banana Republic. I used to work in Dillers. I used to work at McDonald's. I used to work. Uh, like I said, at a at a morgue, not a morgue, but a funeral home one time when I was doing uh, temping, they had me at a funeral home for a week. I used to work at this architecture place for a week. I used to work at this, um, what was that? Was it like, get, was that gas? Was it a gas company? Shocking. I used to work at the bank for sure. I used to do wedding planning. Any, just about any, any, any area of work. What I do at the funeral home? I was the little, I was the receptionist. I was the, 
This is not funny. It's not nothing, nothing about a funeral is funny. But I I don't know how I was, but had I I mean I was young. I was what was this? This was summer. This is actually this is college. This was my between my first year and my second year of college. I was I worked at a funeral home for a week, and they had they had funerals. They was having funerals. Uh, people was coming in, and so I'm just sitting up there looking. If, if it had been me now, if it had been me now that was working there now, because at the time I was, you know, I wasn't in Jesus and nothing like that. But had it been me now, I'd been at the front. I'd be like, "Bless you, woman of God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your loss. Praying for the strength and the comfort of your family. Yes, like I would have been. You know, I really would have been really trying to connect and let them know. I'm praying, praying for y'all. Praying for y'all. Yes, yes, yes. Brother John was a good. He was a good man. He was a good man. Glory to God. How long was he here? How long did the Lord did the Lord allow him to be here? Uh, 57 years. Praise God. We praise God for that 57. We praise God for that 57. There's a lot of people that don't get to the 57, but he got the 57. It's a blessing. This is a celebration. I would have been at the receptionist. This is a celebration. There's no reason for tears. He got 57 years. We praise God for the 57. We praise God for the 57. Go ahead and go on in over here. Mm -hmm. Go on in over here. This, this, this over here. Mm -hmm. Amen. Welcome. Come on in. Come on in. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That would have been me now had I been at the funeral home. But at that time I was young, I was just like looking. Cause I I mean, I was just there to get paid. I didn't I ain't know. And then one time I think I was looking around, they had a body in the room and a little casket. I'm looking around. I think it was an older, old, don't give me a line. I think it was an older white man. But I remember I tiptoed and was like, it's a body in there. <laughs> and then I just was in my own. <laughs> Is working at the funeral home okay for anyone looking for a work? Girl, I don't, I can't tell you. I can't tell you. I was there just because I needed a job. I'm pretty sure. Pray over the bodies. I, I don't have I don't have no, I don't have nothing against the funeral home. It, it gave it, I got paid. I was there and I got paid <laughs> for a week. It was only a week. It was a temp, it was a temp job. And so wherever I, I just signed up for wherever they needed, like any type of receptionist work. Or just any type of work, period. I was like, I need some money because I'm in college. I need some money. And so they sent me to that funeral. I was in that funeral home. They sent me to that architecture place. They had like all these design like things and stuff. And I'm like, oh, this is nice. So it was that was cool. The office was really cool. Um, that was cool. And I feel like it was like this little um I feel like it was a like gas company or like a lawn care company. Something I can't think of what I can't think of what it was like a lawn care gas company. I know they sent me to a bank, and so that they I was in the back filing for the bank. That thing drove me. I was like, nah, I ain't gonna be able to do this one because I it was just me and these and me and these files. I needed some human. I needed some human interaction. So I I, I was like, I would like something else, please. And so uh, what else? What else they sent me in that, when I was doing that temp? Hmm. I don't know, but my first job was at McDonald's. My first job was at McDonald's. Um, I think I got fired because they just stopped putting me on the schedule. And that was fine because I didn't want to work anyway. I was 14 years old. I didn't want to work. So I was at McDonald's. I did not work at IHOP. I worked at IHOP in, in uh, my junior, I think it was senior year, junior, senior year. Chill. I was, I was a mess. <laughs> I was a mess at IHOP. I was spoiled. Growing up, I was kind of spoiled. I was kind of spoiled. I was kind of snooty too. I was. I was very snooty. I could. I could be snooty. Not. I wasn't snooty all the way, but I had some snooty moments, especially when I was working at IHOP, and I was just like, I don't want to. So many people was getting mad because the list was long to wait, and I was just like, you know, now I wouldn't do that. Of course, I got the Holy Ghost in me. I ain't going to do that. I, I would just, you know, apologize for the long wait now and be like, I'm so sorry. I, I promise we'll try to get you seated. That's how I would do it. But at the time, I was like, they come up there. How long is the wait? An hour? An hour? An hour. Why is it so long? People are eating. Like, <laughs> that's not funny. It's really not, honestly. That's No, that's really not funny. But that's really how I used to be. I used to be like, man, look, it's an hour to wait. You gonna wait or you not? You can take a seat. It may. I mean, I don't know if it's gonna be less than an hour, but right now the, the wait is an hour. And child, I used to only be like that because the manager of a, over IHOP was kind of like a father figure to me, Mr. Cliff. I know Mr. Cliff up too. He used to let me get away with a lot of stuff. He used to have me spoil. He used to have me spoil because he'd be like some of the customers, you know, have. Have, you know, mention your name or whatever. Like, you know, they would talk about, they would complain about me because I was rude. I was, I was snooty. I didn't have to be mean to them people.
people like that. I just was like, it is what it is. I just knew I could act any kind of way and I wasn't gonna get fired. And it's like, but that's horrible though. Like now I wouldn't, I would not do that at all. Like I would not do that. Man, no, 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 no. Oh, oh. That just make me, oh, it make me itch thinking about acting like that. Ugh. No, I can't be mean to people like that. No, it was mean girl. It was definitely mean girl. It was mean girl. <laughs> oh, gosh, Lord, 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 Lord. Yeah, working at a funeral home. Oh, listen, if you feel led to that, if you feel led to that, Latavia, for real, if you feel led to that, go ahead. Because you could definitely, you know, probably encourage the families as they coming in. Um, so, <clears throat> but, um, oh, we're not going to talk about this attitude I had at Walmart. My word. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, because it's constantly changing me. I feel like at Walmart, y'all, it's just, I feel like it was just like, come as you are at Walmart and stay as you are when it comes to workers. But some, I ain't going to lie. Some of the Walmart people, it's nice. But, you know, sometimes you get, yeah, you just never know what you're gonna get in Walmart. And it honestly don't be the Walmart workers, it's just probably the people that be in Walmart and be like, oh Lord. Uh <laughs> it was <laughs> Walmart just happy, happy to have people working. <laughs> but yeah, I was, yeah, my attitude was horrible at I I I it was really, really bad. I praise God for transformation because I would not, I would not do that now. I would not. Some are some are nice. Yeah, Walmart is um Walmart is nice. Walmart is is it's not bad. Um, but I'm looking at Charlie. She need to get her some air, get her some some sun. Um, I'm supposed to be over here. How are we getting side? I'm supposed to be doing my videos. I'm getting sidetracked. Okay, so um, uh, host thank face it's the entire shit for no reason. <laughs> Girl, why? <laughs> oh, my Lord. <laughs> and then don't let us ask y'all a question for something. We looking for something. Y'all still looking at us like we crazy. Like, we supposed to know. I'm like, man, where, I'm just trying to figure out where I can find a deodorant. Girl, I don't I don't know why you got an attitude with me. You work here. You don't know where deodorant is? <laughs> so. <laughs> let me get Charlie. Charlie. You can't be in and out, please. I'll take a seat now. You're going too much. Okay. I'm in here for child. I don't know, just angry. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh, what advice would you give a child thinking of joining a sorority? I would tell them not to join it. I tell them that looks can be deceiving. Um, <clears throat> I would tell them that looks can be deceiving. Um, let me see. I worked at Staples as a tech sales associate. It was worse. I left there three months later. I ain't working there again. What? Staples? Now what is going on? I worked at Sonic for one day, four hours and quit in high school. Fast food wasn't for me. <laughs> What is going on? <laughs> what? No, when I worked at McDonald's, it was intense. Fast food is intense. I'm it's intense. Oh, it's intense. So I understand. But staples? Now what staples do? I, I, I don't go into staples a lot, but when I go, it seemed very peaceful. It must have been a location. It must have been a location. <laughs> Do I think anyone can work at the funeral home? I honestly, I don't, I'm not sure. I I think it's fine. I think it's fine, but you gotta you gotta take that up into prayer with the Lord. Take that up into prayer with the Lord. Uh yes, just show them the videos on my channel. That's that's good. That's good. Yeah, after after I left fast food, I went back and went to Wendy's. They had me for a month. They fired my manager and I walked out right with them. What is these stories about fast food y'all got going on? <laughs> what? That is wild. Man, Wendy's, man, they made me want, they made me want some Wendy's. Man, I can't even, I was about to say, I'm going to go get me some Wendy's. I can't even go nowhere. Everybody ain't mama in the streets trying to see the solar eclipse. I'll be out there just trying to get me some Wendy's. Long John Silver's. 
Oh, morning praise. Lala, you have new videos coming out this week? Okay, let me get back on it. Yes, this is what we need to be talking about, okay? Videos. Now, I don't got sidetracked. I'm supposed to be on here. Y'all supposed to be helping me. I'm, we are, we, we, it's, it's, a, it's a team effort. And I don't think my mic is working anymore because y'all can't hear me. It's a team effort, okay? And so let's get back to it, all right? I don't know how who we how we get to fast food. I guess I was talking about I've worked I worked at Taco Bell for almost two years, loved it. Hello, it's just some places, girl. Okay, okay, Taco Bell. Oh, y'all is let me focus because I'll be outside because Taco Bell, they I Taco Bell used to have me in choco with that uh that that gordita. Oh my god, that gordita used to have me. Okay. So the wood, okay, the wood. Okay, so we're going to break down the wood for uh, <clears throat> these movies are demonic. Now, what are the characters? The characters for the wood. Okay, so let me get the, um, let me get the summary. Let me get the summary of the wood from Google. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Get the summary because it is because. Cause we got we got videos coming out this week, and I gotta get them together. Okay, okay, here we go. Let me get the summary of the wood. Okay, and who are the characters? There's Mike, Roland, and Slim. Okay, Mike, which is the main character, that's Omar Epps. Uh, Roland and Slim. Okay, and so the video opens up. With my oh, uh, the video opens up with Roland and Slim. The video opens up with Roland and Slim betting Mike to go touch what's the girl name? It's not Lisa. What's the girl name? <laughs> I know. Now, listen, Casey, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to Stacy. No, not Stacy. Stacy is the girl's brother. What's the girl name? What's the girl name that uh that she he went and touched the girl butt? Alicia. Come on, Portia. <laughs> Alicia. Okay, so Alicia uh was Mike's crush. Okay, and so as soon as he moves. Let's talk about, we're going to talk, we're going we gonna to use that to talk about peer pressure. We're going to use that to talk about peer pressure and how these kids will be influenced to do something that is not of God. He didn't have to touch that girl, but, but because he was nervous too. He didn't want to do it. Mike, uh, Mike didn't want to do it. Mike didn't want to touch her, but... I'm gonna put down pure pressure. <laughs> Lavinio. Why that main name was Lavinio? <laughs> Who is Lavinio? Let me write that down. Lavinio. Lavinio. <laughs> he said, what page 15 on? <laughs> Mike said Lavinio. <laughs> okay, so that was Lavinio was slim. Real name, okay, Lavinio, okay. Now, I ain't never heard nobody named Lavinio in my life, but that was the man name in the movie, Lavinio, but they call him Slim, okay? So, peer pressure, okay? And then also, after he touches her butt, he gets beat up. There's a fight, my Lord, today. This, the movie got a fight. On campus, there's a fight between you got to be kidding me. No, you got to be kidding me. There was a fight between a child and a man because Stacy, I think, was grown. Now we don't know how old Stacy was, but he looked grown. I'm gonna have to go see how old Stacy was. Fight on school grounds between child and gang member because he was gang member 
okay? That is not holy, okay? Now, you know what I can do? I can talk about temptations all day. I was thinking about that because nights like this, that's not temptation. That's five heartbeats. But... <laughs> Oh, I could talk about Temptations all day because I have to give Temptations up. Temptations actually was one of my favorite movies. One of my favorite movies, my Lord. Temptations forever. And that man had a spirit of suicide on him because he had an alcohol problem. Alcohol opened him up to a spirit of suicide. My Lord. People just be thinking a little taste is gone. It's, it, you, you just never know. Now, I can go in on Temptations because that was my favorite movie. And I know it backwards and forwards. I can even quote the lines in there. I don't even got to read the, the Google summary. I read, I summarize it myself. But you never know what, you know, just the little taste was gonna, is going to open you up to. I, I bet you that Paul did not believe that he was his life was going to end with suicide with him just doing a little taste. Okay. With him just doing a little taste. And so... Uh, let's continue to walk through the wood, okay? Now I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm probably not gonna be able to break all these movies down on here. We're gonna be here for hours. We be here through the solar eclipse, okay? We 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 will be here with the solar eclipse. No, all movies are not demonic. No, not all movies are not demonic. There are just a lot of the worldly movies are demonic. A lot of the worldly movies are demonic. They glorify sin, okay? They glorify sin. All right. <clears throat> mm -hmm. that, yeah, there's some Christian, some good Christian movies. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm just highlighting specific ones that are considered classics. That because they are classics, we overlook the sin because it's just we're it's normal to us, you know. Him, oh, oh, dude, touching, touching. What's the man name? Mike touching Alicia's butt, like. In, that's normal to us. And Stacy coming up and beating him up and they fighting. That's normal to us. That's just the wood. That's what happened in the wood. Okay. But when you look at it through the lens of God, that's wicked. That's wicked. Um, okay. Mike, Mike Rowland and Slim. Alicia is Mike's crush. Uh, Rowland and Slim bet. They bet, Roland and Slim bet Mike to touch Alicia, but Mike didn't want to do it, but he felt peer pressure, so he did it. He touched her butt. Um, as a result, he there was a fight on school grounds between him and a gang member, okay? Uh, what else happens after that? Da -da 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 they have the school dance. They have the shooting. They have the robbing. They they rob they they rob the the convenience store. We see we see them robbing a con <laughs> convenience store, and they kind of make it as as a joke, but that's actually really serious. Convenience store, and Mike Slim and Roland happen to be at the convenience store right before the school dance. And so, school dance. Child. And so as a result, they end up getting in a car with the store robbers. Get in car <laughs> with store robbers. Okay. Huh? Yes. All right. And then at the dance, they, they trying to figure out who can get the most numbers, who can get most numbers. And that's where we see Christina Milian make an appearance at the dance. I need, I need another pen. Most numbers, okay? At the dance, okay? This is also the time where well, they ain't got nothing to do with nothing. But Mike come out here and show that he can't dance. <laughs> Mike got dance fever. <laughs> Ro, Ro said, you got dance fever, huh? <laughs> Ooh, he was trying to. He was really trying to. That baby was trying to dance at that dance, and it just was not what it was. You know, sometimes when you can, when you, when you, when you just don't got it, you just hit that one-two with that step. You just one-two, one-two. You ain't got it. He was doing all that. 
doing that Michael Jackson. <laughs> like, nah, bro. That ain't what that is. Just relax with it. Just do that one, two step. You ain't got to do too much. Okay. Now, that ain't, that mic, mic dancing ain't got nothing to do with the movie. I mean, ain't got nothing to do with. Okay. I don't know. But, um, okay. So, Mike get, oh, Mike dance with Alicia and gets, how do you say that uh, uh, appropriately? He gets a little excited. I'm right there now, a little excited. Excited. And because they dance it real close. They can't, they dance it real close. Mm-hmm. What happened? The worst is when they add innuendos, the light in some of the anime movies that are created for kids. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. They sure did. They had a bet who would have sex first, put money in a jar. They showed teens participating in sexual acts. Show did. Girl, let me run. I'm going to say the whole thing. Hey, bitch, hey. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Ashley. That's why we on here. Help me break this thing down now. I need it just like that, okay? Here we go. They're right there now. They're right there now. They showed it, had that bit. That girl ass, it's supposed to look like that. <laughs> oh, girl, you ain't even supposed to know how it look. Let's talk about that. That girl, somebody, it's supposed to look like that? No, you ain't supposed to see it anyway. Okay, holiness is right. We ain't supposed to even be looking at each other. That's what that's what somebody should have said in the movie. Like, no. Cover your eyes. Um, gets a little excited. Um, um, let me see. Okay. They had a bet who would have sex first. That's right. Money in a jar. And the thing about this is this is actually, this is common. This is, com this is common with these little boys that be betting who can have, who can have sex first, who can have the most, who can get such and such to, you know, do some things to them. And so that's why I'm really advocating for leadership and that we be careful with the company that your kids keep. Be careful who, who these kids hanging around with. Be careful. Tap into your discernment with the, with the people that they're hanging out with. You see some little boy. Hold on, let me see. This. Who was this? Who he hanging out with? He, he, listen, the Holy Ghost will tell you. Company you keep. Child. And they sitting around when they adults. They sitting around. Um, I'm talking about. I'm talking about um, the wood. I'm talking about the wood. When they are adults, they um, are sitting around reminiscing about this as if this is something good. They were like, "You remember the bed? I remember the bed. You remember the bed, Mike? No, we shouldn't remember the bed. We need to repent for the bed. First off, let's start there. God is not pleased with the bed. Come on." But these are people in the world, so we can't, act, you know, we can't expect people that's in the world to act like they in Jesus. But we that are in Jesus, we have to make sure that we are not feeding into the, to the, you know, the things that the world is doing. Let me see. Women missing about glorifies drunkenness. Yep. Yep. Drunkenness because with what's his name Roland before before wedding laughing so we're laughing I'm laughing at him I was I'll put that down laughing at Ro being drunk uh reminiscing about the bit as adults okay I think I got enough for the wood. I think I got enough for the wood. All right. Look how long that took. That's only one movie. 
I got Poetic Justice, What's Love Got to Do With It, Juice, Above the Rim, Harlem Nights. Uh, okay, let me, let me, yeah, let me, let me get some feedback on the movies. I don't really know. Uh, so Harlem Nights. Who know, who know Harlem Nights? Who know Harlem Nights like that? Um, I got down. The first scene had a little boy shooting and killing a man. It has a lot of comedy greats. I do know that there's uh, profanity, gambling, sex, and racism. Okay, what else? What else in Harlem, Harlem Nights they got going on? Okay, let me get this. Let me get the summary. I know I can get that because I don't know Harlem Nights like that. I literally probably only seen it once. It was unimpressed. Okay, I was I was unimpressed. Harlem. Harlem Nights movie. I need, give me, okay, Dolce, give me some, give me, spe give me specifics. Give me specifics. So who was committing adultery? Because I don't know these people. I really don't know these people. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I see that there's Eddie Murphy and uh, what's his man? Uh, who, who was, who was, um, Save the photos. Okay, so I got the thing. Okay, let me see. Okay, let me see. Let me see. It's about gangsters. Okay. The man left his wife and kids for sunshine. Okay, black folks struggling. Okay, sunshine made the man call his wife and tell her he's never coming home so they could rob him. What? I remember what Delarie said. My big, my big toe, you dirty MF. Okay. White gangster against black gangster, Richard Pryor, Eddie Murphy, the police, the police officer left his wife. Okay. Prostitution, gambling. Okay. Delarie was funny. Okay. 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 Who is Sunshine? <clears throat> Okay. Sugar Ray, which is Richard Pryor, his adopted son, Quick, which is Eddie Murphy. Okay. <sighs> Leela Rashan and Saint Oh Sunshine. Okay. 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 Sunshine is Leela. Rashawn. Okay. Okay. Rashawn. Okay. And so let me see. Y'all said that Sunshine made the man call his wife and tell her he's never coming home so they could rob him. Who is, who is these people though? I don't know these names. I, don't, I have no idea what you're talking about, but I'm going to write it down. So Sunshine, which we know is Leela Rashawn, made the man. Who is the man? Call his wife and tell her he's never coming home so they could rob him. Who is they? Who is they? Do y'all know who they is? Okay. Let me see. Okay. Let me take a picture of that. All right. I could definitely probably come back and get it, but I'm going to grab a picture of that. Okay. So just give me, give me some character names of who these people, okay? Um... Let me see. He called his wife by his own choice. Now, what's going on? Now, <laughs> uh, hey, sis, Eddie Murphy and Richard Pryor. Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, let me see. Okay, so Della Reese, let me write that down. Della Reese got shot. In a pinky toe by Eddie Murphy. Okay. Okay. He did call on his own choice. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, okay. All right. So 
Della Reese was the madam. What? So Della Reese was like over the um The main meaning of the movie, Eddie Murphy and the gang wanted to go legit, get out of the mobster business. Okay. 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 I see that. I think that I got that from my, uh, from what Google said too. Okay. Okay. So Della Reese was like, she was like a pimp, female pimp. Am I interpreting that correctly? Cause I don't want to get on this, on this video, be saying it. People be like, girl, ain't the I need to make sure. Okay. Was she a female pimp? Is that what that means? Okay, female pimp. Okay. She was a madam. Okay. Okay. Over the women. Okay. The strange women of the night. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. This is good. This is good for me to know. All right. And so let me see. What else I got? Okay. What else? What are the aspects of the movie that is um Let me see. Call Pimp. Pimp. Okay. Della Reese would do things and feel bad, feel better, bad afterwards. Okay. That was the funniest part of the movie when he left his wife for sunshine. Okay. Is that humorous? So who is he? Who left his wife for sunshine? Eddie Murphy or uh, the other man? What's the man name? What's the man name? Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor or Eddie Murphy? Who left? Who, who left? The white gangster. What? Okay. All right. So, for, <laughs> th thank y'all for helping with this. I'm just going to have to um, hit it high level. I'm going to have to hit it high level. Because I don't know. In, okay, Italian Mafia. Oh, okay, so. Sunshine was with the white gangster. But she left him? Oh, the Italian, the Italian, the white gangster left his wife for Sunshine. Was this all a plot? This was all a was this all a plot? <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch this movie. I don't want to watch it, but I'm like, if I I'm, I'm not gonna watch it, but I'm probably I probably end up having to watch the trailer. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Make this easier for me. Oh my goodness. Okay, watch the trailer, and then grab sin moments. Okay, praise God. Praise God. Okay. Praise God. All right. Okay. So. Okay. So they they plotted against the because we're it's gonna be my my video for this week. They plotted against the white gangster and had they used sunshine to get the white gangster. So they manipulated him, essentially. They manipulated the white gangster to get him to leave his wife so that they can rob the white gangster, right? What? Her name is Sunshine because if you throw her stuff up in the air, it turns into sunshine? What do you mean? What? Okay, so does that does that is that is that analysis that I just gave is that correct? Okay, you got the gangster, and they use sunshine to manipulate him to leave his wife so that they can rob the white gangster. Okay, and I, I need to not be calling him a white gangster. We're gonna call him the mob man. <laughs> okay. 
They manipulated him to rob him. Is that right? Okay. Okay. The Italian, is, is this the Italian mob, right? Yeah, so I have it. I have my summary. I have my professional summary right here. Let me see. I have my summary from Google, but I like to try to go in, in depth to elaborate, okay? Um, 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 now what? Now Jasmine God manipulated Eddie, Eddie for the white mobster, but Eddie shot her dead. So wait, what? What? Oh, oh God. Yes, I always leveling, I always leveling up. Yes. I don't know school days like that either. I'm gonna have to come on here and get some help because I watch school days like once. Oh my God. After making love to him. What? In Harlem Nights. That's crazy. That's crazy. All right. All right. All right. Um uh, he chose to leave on his own. Okay. Italian mobs was manipulated by sunshine to leave his wife. Who was trying to rob him? So they, who is they, can rob him. Was it Eddie Murphy and Richard Pryor? Or was it just one of them? Um... They can rob him. Okay. Anybody know? Um, let me see. Jasmine Guy. The group. So, okay. So, Eddie, Eddie and um, Richard, and Richard, okay, 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 and then we got Jasmine Guy, Manipulated manipulated Eddie for the oh okay so the white the white mobster used Eddie Murphy no the white mobster used Jasmine God to manipulate Eddie but Eddie ended up shooting Jasmine right but Eddie killed Jasmine, right? Okay, okay, okay. The mobsters wanted Eddie in Rich's business. Jasmine got Eddie had a mutual attraction, but she was Busby Calhoun's girl. They set him up. Mm. His name was Danny Alio, the white gangster had to look him up. Okay, okay. Yes, because she was going to kill Eddie. Oh, okay, before she killed him. Oh, my Lord. This got a lot going on. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay, let me take a picture of this. Okay. Okay, the mobsters want it. Okay, this is good. This is good. All right. Okay. Whew. Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all so much. Whew. Okay. 
Thank y'all so much for that. We we working this thing out. We got it though. We got it. We got it though. Okay. We got it. Um. We got it. We got it. Okay. Um, okay. All right, people of God. Oh God, that woke me up. We got, that's two movies. Watch my necklaces. There we go. <laughs> that's just two movies we did. And I'm, I'm woe out. Um, okay. So I got to do poetic justice. What's love got to do with it? I got to break down, um, juice in a, a, a above the rim. I think I could put that. I just put that in, in um, uh, Love Jones, Best Man 1, 2, and the series. Did I watch Best Man 2? I did watch Best Man 2. Oh, I honestly don't. I really don't feel like talking about all of this. I really don't. But, I mean, this is people, what people want. And the Lord said I can go forth. So, I, I guess I got to get people what they want. Um, All the house party films. <laughs> What is the common themes in the house? That's, let me ask y'all this. For Pastor Kavasi, yeah. Oh my God, what? That video was inspired by Harlem Nights. What? Um, what are the common themes for those that like the uh, house uh, house party movies? What are the common themes in the house party movies? Yeah, able are y'all able to call it out? Anybody that knows? What are the common themes? Give me a theme from any other house party, house party movies. I um sex. There's sex, bullying. Yep. What else? Sinful fun and sex. Yep. Um, what else? Rovery, fornication, diso disobedience, appearance, rules, lusting. Yeah. Because I'm going to just knock this. I'm going to knock them all out. And one, one just address all of them. One, two, three, and four. And class A. Because that was like a spinoff. Fornication. Disobedience, disobeying parents, rules, lusting, yep, violence, yep, dancing sinfully, mm hmm, dancing sexually, yep, fighting. Um, is that it? <sighs> Sinful fun and sex, bullying, revelry, fornication, uh, which that is, that is six. Disobeying parents, parent, parental rules, lusting, violence, dancing, sexually fighting, any profanity? Were they cursing in, in any of the house party movies? Alcoholism, strippers, sex, drugs, kid, kids, abuse, racist, fraternity, sorority, drag. Oh, Lord. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay. Did they have fraternities and sororities in here? In there? In there? Because it was talking about, uh, like, I think it was like college for some, right? Did they have sororities and fraternities in there? Yes, there were. Okay. Okay. Um, let me 
me see. Okay. Let me let me get a thing. Okay. They had drag queens in there too. Okay, so raise fraternities. Fraternities. Music. Demonic music. Um, okay. Strippers. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. Right, they have racism. I forgot to point that out in Boys in the Hood, they had racism. Um, good afternoon. Um, let's see. Um, okay. That's good. Thank you. That's good. That's what we're going to do. This is what we're going to highlight. We not, I'm not going to go in depth because that's too many movies to highlight. We're going to just put them all in a group. House party films, bullying, robbery, fornication, disobedience, uh, parental rules, lusting, violence, dancing, sexually fighting, profanity, sorority, fraternity, glorification, demonic music, strippers, racism, there's drag queens in there. I'm going to look at it up. Drag queens. Uh, ultimately. Ultimately. Okay. This is good. This is good. All right. I think we're good. I think we're good. I bet, I bet people be watching this replay. They're like, why is why these lives be so long? Because we be worrying. I be working, trying to get some help. In Jesus' name, uh, these videos are going to come out this week. They are going to come out. They got to. They got to. They got to come out this week. They got to come out this week, okay? They got to come out this week. In Jesus' name, we're going we gonna to set aside. And um, We wouldn't have had too much to watch had we been aware back then. Um, we just wouldn't have been watching these black classics. That's all it would have been. We wouldn't have been easily influenced. Or just even any of the classic movies either. This ain't, this ain't even crossing over into the non-black movies, which is, you know, a lot as well. It's not just black movies that are demonic. It's, it's a lot of the different worldly movies that are demonic, but we just going to go get your long term silvers around too. I'm telling you, oh, that sounds so good. Oh, that sounds so good. It that sounds good. Long long term silver uh Wendy's. That sounds good. Cause I, I ain't I ain't I ain't even. I said I wasn't going nowhere. I'm about to make me some shrimp. I got some shrimp in the freezer. Maybe some shrimp, put it with my uh, I got some uh Panda Express left over. I'm about to um I'm just going to do that. You got to be careful. You got to always be careful with everything, though. Panda Express, be good. Be good. Be good. Be good. Be good. That's actually a really, really good point. Um, mm, that is actually a really good point that I just said. That is a really good point. We gotta be sober and we gotta be alert for everything. Okay? Be sober and alert for everything, including what we watch. It's not just television, we gotta be sober and alert for. We gotta be sober and alert for social media. We gotta be sober and alert for, for how, when we hanging around our friends. We gotta be sober and alert for everything. When we around our, our family, you know, when we out and about, we got to be sober and alert. Family. Yeah. 
everything. Uh, okay. Yes, we still live in a world. I think being able to discern what we see is key. That is right. Right. We are in the world, not of the world. In the world. Not of the world. Do not be transformed. Be not, do not be conformed, but be transformed. All right, friends. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Thank y'all for tuning in. I am about to go. 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 Uh, Rod, Roddy, you just came in at the end. I'm about to go. I'm about to go. Thank you so much for tuning in. Okay, in Jesus' name, I'm going to have some some uh whatchamacallit some watch some um what you call it videos i want to have some videos in jesus name that come out this week okay uh, uh i'm not i'm gonna be praying i'll be praying i'll catch the i guess the replay on on television but i'm gonna be praying uh, thank you for getting, getting me through half my shit. Oh, I've been working and listening. Oh, praise God. That's a blessing. Praise God. That, that, you know, I've added a little bit of entertainment for you for your for your Monday. Okay. Okay. And so thank y'all for tuning in. I will see y'all women. Okay, click the link, click the pin link. We have prayer and worship. Prayer, not prayer and worship, but our prayer call tomorrow. We got our prayer call tomorrow morning. Okay. So click the link. And get the information for prayer call and also our next Bible study. Okay, prayer call and our next Bible study. And so, thank y'all for watching. I had so so much so much fun. I always have such a good time on, on my lives. I really enjoy this the most. I really do. I enjoy my lives the most. Praying, worshiping together, and um, what is this? Oh yeah. Oh, this is what I'm looking for. This is what I was looking for. My uh, my notes from when we did our uh, when we did our prayer thing last year. Um, and so yes, so women, I will see y'all tomorrow morning on our prayer. We got our prayer thing on Zoom. Click the link. Okay, six a.m. Central Standard Time. Okay. Uh, no, just one and two. What happened? Yes, Ashley, we'll see y'all in the morning. I'll see y'all on Tuesday and Thursday. And then for those, I will see y'all next Monday. Okay, next Monday. So y'all have a blessed Monday. You know, make sure you stay, stay safe and stay chill. Don't do too much outside since everybody going to be outside trying to do their thing for the solar eclipse. Make sure you just chill, get you somewhere safe, safe to just hang out. Okay. And so I will see y'all later. Okay. Look at my brows. What is going on? <laughs> Um, if you don't have Zoom, that's that's all I have. That's all we have is Zoom. You can get the free Zoom is free. You can get Zoom. Is, they have a, a free Zoom account that you can do. Um, you just sign up for it. That's all I have is Zoom for the prayer calls. Okay. And so I will see y'all next week. Okay. See y'all next Monday. And and sisters, I will see y'all in the morning at six. Okay. Six a.m. Central Standard Time. So whatever time that is on your end. Then it's 7 Eastern and it's Pacific time. It's 4 a.m. I know that uh, Pacific is 4, Central is 6, and Eastern is 7. Okay, so I'll see y'all in the morning. Okay, bye.